Greetings and uh, salutations, everyone, uh, as we should be going live. And yes, judging by YouTube's back end, it appears as if we are live and kicking. Lovely. So, the Chaos Dwarves. I was originally going to ignore this because I have several misgivings about how Creative Assembly would do the Chaos Dwarves, uh, none of which have really been dispelled just yet, but... I was given this DLC, and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> at that point, you should at least reciprocate, shouldn't you? So thank you very much, uh, Trash, and Trash's boyfriend, for uh, giving me this DLC. So let's have a go at it. Uh, fair warning, I might be bitching a little bit, but yes. The Chaos Dwarves are like one of my all-time favorite factions, and mm, like part of me is kind of excited now because they've done a bit of that old Chaos Dwarfy style, like this guy's hat, for example, so I'm hoping they're good. I'm just, um, you know, giving you advance notice. All right, so we have three legendary lords. You have Astragoth, Drazwath, and Zatan the Black. I believe... These two I remember, although Zatan looks nothing like I remember him looking like, but this guy might be new? I'm not entirely sure, it's been like 20 years since I played Chaos Dwarves and hell since they had lore being made for them, so yeah, you know. So, these seem to be the most classic standard ones, so as usual, uh, let's go outside of the usual fold, shall we? And do something that nobody else does. This guy. I don't like his hat. His hat looks a little bit stupid. It is not flat enough. I like flat hats, but I'll go with them. Corbin Thor becomes a member. Very, uh, very well. Very well, if you insist. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Lucian says, hope it at least is a little entertaining. Happy arch is good arch. I hope so, too. Ah, oh, God. I hate these things. I'm not a fan of these things. Like the big flamey demon thingies, they're too chaos. These things, too. The the new chaos dwarfs look... I'm, I'm a two minds. Like, I don't like these hats, the conical ones. But I do like the fact that they managed to keep the, uh, the, the bearded dwarf braids, etc. Uh, one of my key complaints with the new Chaos Dwarves is simply that they look a little bit too chaosy and not quite enough dwarfy. Ooh. I do like all of the in-character voice acting, though. That's very nice. Makes them feel way more Chaos Dwarfy, you know? I quite like that. Let me just see here if... Game might be a little pinch loud. Let me let me lower that a little bit. There we are. Mache Svenk says Hashut Vogrun Zar Nagrund. We should all worship Hashut. Hashut is a good boy. Oh, no, video game. I really don't. No, stop. Video game. I really don't need the tutorial. I have played this game and variants of this game many, many times. Alright, so the classic Total War scenario, you start out with the little army, they start with out with the little army, and you're supposed to take their capital. So far, so standard. Uh, where are we? Oh, ooh, okay, alright, we're a bit further to the north, I like that, so we're kind of in Zufors, uh... No, 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 we're, no, we're, wait, where are we? Wait, is this, is this the s Sour Sea? I'm a little bit like, am I, I'm, no, I'm to the south of Salnagrund. Alright, so this is, uh, this was, uh, the Fools. I wanted to be up here. Oh, oh well. Okay, so we start further south, surrounded by ogres? Thunderguts, yep. Uh, Skaven, presumably, because it's neutral. Elves, aha. Uh -huh. And am I? Oh god, they've got two settlements. Okay, that's a harsh starting position, but all right. Starting army, we've got some orc laborers, goblin laborers, infernal guard, fire glaives, blunderbusses, and uh, those weird demon things that I'm not particularly fond of. All right, what are we up against? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
is Andomitash. I don't know about that. That feels like a bit, uh, bit dodgy. What can you do? Block army. Okay. If I join you in there, increase mobility. Okay. I'm thinking I'm probably going to want every hero I can here. Drone, Drone. So is he a battlefield hero? Maybe. I don't think so. Abdi Muhammad says, Hey Arch, huge fan. I was just wondering what happened to the Skaven RP. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Kyle He's happened. He's the killer of RPs. He, is, he was too busy, so he had to dip out. Alright. Feeling a bit... Like, half of my army is goblins and orcs. I don't know about that. Can I... Nope. What can I recruit? Warriors. Do we... Do we sit back and camp? What kind of a garrison am I looking at here? Eight units. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be overrunning that. Unless I can absolutely annihilate that guy, I'm not going to be winning two straight battles. So, I think sit back and camp is the correct... Uh, correct solution, at least for the time being. Now, if he wants to attack me, I'm actually kind of fine with that. He can move around me. He could siege me. Do I have walls? I do. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. Right. We shall camp then. So we've got uh, warriors or warriors with great weapons. Now, in this game, you tend to prefer great weapons because you want more damage. But I prefer the warriors. Because the warriors are more old school classic. So we're going to go with those. And some oak labors, maybe. Yeah, they look like the best option. Let's see, what do we got? Basic military, Chaos Dwarf, great weapons. I do have... No, I don't have that. Hobgoblins. Ooh, I do want hobgoblins. I like hobgoblins. I like hobgoblins. I like hobgoblins quite a lot. But we should probably maybe start with an economy building. Nah, this is going to be our primary production center anyways. Let's go with hobgoblins. I love hobgoblins. Hobgoblins are so cool. Upkeep for laborers and hobgoblin units. Melee aim for laborers and hobgoblin infantry. Nice. Sorcerers, tallest tower. Camping on site. Control all provinces. Nice. Labor gain post-battle. Uh, slaves, I presume. Merchant guilds. Income from trade tariffs. I don't need to worry about that just yet. The call for war later for cursed wars. Melee defense for cursed wolf melee infantry units. Hmm. Both of these are pretty good. I'm gonna go for the Hobgoblins, because Hobgoblins are kawaii, and I like Hobgoblins. The Hellforge. Offer the use of Forgecraft to improve your armies. Alright. I want to increase unit capacity. Unit capacity. Hmm. Armor can support in the group's unit capacity. Oh, Jesus, so I only have so many of the units? Wow, that's harsh. Okay. Oh, interesting, interesting. So I've got to expand points. 90 whatever the hell, which I've got up there. Armaments. Okay, okay. An interesting little mechanic. I don't like these. They've got the dumb helmets. And manufactory, which is not unlocked just yet. Ooh, Great Tauros. I do like Great Tauros. We've got a Lama Sioux there as well. And we've got a... Uh, oh, Bale Tauros. Hmm, Bale Tauros. It's just a Tauros, but on fire. Fair enough. Bull Centaurs. Now, we do sadly get the ugly Bull Centaurs, not the cool ones, which is a bit unfortunate. I probably want to just increase my number of warriors right off the bat, don't I? He's up. In fact, does that allow me to... Yes, it does. Get some more of those, then. That's about all I can do in the first turn. All right, let's end the turn, then. Research bigger hats. I wish I could. Listen, I need to camp on turn one, because apparently the Chaos Dwarf uh, industry hasn't been built yet. Somehow. G... G... Uh, GJ, excuse me, is the it's the real Chaos Dwarves coming home to dunk on a loser Thorgrim. Praise, ha, praise Hashot. Correct. Alright, they elect to retreat. 
That's mildly annoying, but it is what it is. How much money am I earning as I get re-familiarized myself with the, uh... Damned UI. There we go. I'm earning loads of money. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Hellforge gains 11 points every turn. Okay, so it's gonna be a while until I can get any more. Uh, are you a... what are you? Are you a fighter? So, I mean, you look pretty fiery, don't you? Towering heights, burning wrath, inspiring presence. You look pretty fiery. You look rangedy. I think you are. Hobgoblins! I love me hobgoblins. So we got sneaky yits, cutthroats, and archers. Hmm. Sneaky yits, precursor missile weaponry. So they've got javelins, essentially. Anti infantry, vanguard deployment, stalk, shielded. I mean, this, these, these, these just sound a lot better in every single respect. Couple of sneaky gets and an archer. We're gonna make the first battle a big one. And I would love some hobgoblin riders. I love hobgoblins. I love hobgoblins. Hobgoblins are so cool. Because they're bigger and cooler goblins. Maleficus Shaikhan says you should change the V avatar on Archcast to Troll. Oh, I do as V demands. He wanted the Succubus Lady, so he gets Succubus Lady. And Navius Nobility says, Hey Arch, thanks for the boost a few weeks ago. I would love to talk to you about Battlefleet Gothic at some point. If you love classic 40k mechanics and lore, you will adore BFG. It can be played online via Vassal and TTS. I am aware. I've played a couple games of Battlefleet Gothic back in the day. Oh, no. Right, well, we're engaging in a bit of an arms race here. I'm tempted to maybe pop over there and try and and take that, honestly. I mean, is there a reason not to? Like, he can siege me, but I'm... I probably actually beat his ass in a siege, can I? I've got that extra movement speed, so why not? It shouldn't be too passive, after all. Alright, Hobgoblin Sneaky Gifts just look actually like they're really goddamn good, so I think I want more of those. One more archer, in case they bring a lot of arrow boys, another one of those, and uh, we've got ourselves the beginnings of a real army we do. Starved Wolves, speed and charge bonus, I like it. Let's go with it. Uh, minus 13 order, why? Collected income, labor population. Okay, well, you're awfully pissy with me. I might need to look into some calming down structures. Raw materials. Okay, so they don't build using money, do they? Interesting. Do they upgrade? Okay. Hmm, raw materials. Outpost, settlements, and mines. You construct various buildings. Oh, Jesus, that puts a real hamper on your oh, no. expansion, doesn't it? On the other hand, it does allow you to be far more aggressive with your income, which is neat. Do you have any heroes? No. Lords? I do. Hmm. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to get a lord early on. Lord of Metal, Fire, Hush Hood, obviously. Missile Resistance. You. And we're obviously going to rename him immediately to Zephor. Actually, Zephor. Ratbane. Much better. Because Zephor has developed quite the distaste for rats, considering his history, that is hardly a surprise. Are the Kalos Dwarves any good? Asks Noah R. Well, I don't know yet. I hope so. Now would be a good time to insert an ad. Calm down, YouTube. Oh, yep, there's definitely something over there. Alright, are you gonna... What are you gonna do? Are you gonna... Just wander over there? Alright, if you, <laughs> if you say so. A vigil on expenditure must be made. Shut up. Right. Kill, kill. The city has been reached, and your warriors... Shut up! Decisive victory! Well, we're gonna fight it, obviously. Uh, 
anybody who met that group of rats did. That's true, they spread racism wherever they, uh, wherever they went. The real Holtonator says, Zephor the Towered. <laughs> yes. Oh, Zephor, he just wanted to be friends, he wanted allies, but the rats refused him. Right, time to have a good little look at our troops here. Don't click off screen. Alright, okay. These are pretty Chaos Dwarfy. I like these. These are good. I would prefer perhaps a slightly more bright color schematic to fit in with the old ones, but that works, that works. Ah, now these look exactly like they should. Maybe, maybe their hats maybe should be a pinch larger, but Hobgoblins look very nice. Don't mind it. Right, blunderbusses. Too many conical hats again. We need more of these. I hate these. I I really hate these. They're they're way too magical. They're way too demony. Like chaos dwarves are not chaos. Okay, they they're not just chaos. They're a very different flavor of chaos. Those look look like really, <laughs> really really unwieldy guns. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're mildly retarded, but, uh, very well, very well. And he's got a big gun too. Okay. Right, so I'm presuming... I need to increase my mouse sensitivity here. I am presuming that you have pretty short range, but that you really, really, really hurt. Right, some goblin wolf riders, goblin archers. All right, we'll put the goblin archers opposite theirs, and we'll just shoot them to pieces with twice their numbers. I'm guessing these are relatively far. Speed 54, sort of. Eh, not super fast, but fast enough. Faster than my dwarves, anyways. We'll have them try and intercept the cavalry. These guys can infiltrate, which makes me very tempted to just put them right here. But I'm sneakily suspecting that the wolf riders might spot them. Hmm. We'll try it. We'll try it. Why not? Walk boys. Right, so that's their, like, main line. So we'll put our actual warriors there. Then we'll put our piece of shit goblins over there. And we'll pull all of that back a smidge. I'm tempted to just use these as a flanking force, honestly. Really tempted to just move them on on the flank and just start blasting shit. That'd probably be pretty useful. Oh, well, we'll be conservative. We'll put them up front first. Greatness in battle may only. Shut up! Uh, you, window. Shut up! Go away. There. Oh. How did you unlock that damned thing? Uh, nope. Advisor, help pages, unit spells. Things. Oh. Are we gonna get to see some gunfire? Come on. Come on. Then range? Mm, not quite. All right, so you're just gonna like rush forward. All right, not that I mind. Get in range, get in range. Ooh, what was that? Was that you? That was you, wasn't it? All right, he's got a big old bazooka thing, which he does need to manually reload. Okay, that's pretty neat. All right, you guys. Come on, goblins, hurry up. Now they should be in range. All right, a little pew pewy. Little, little, little pew pewy. Does absolutely no casualties because remember we're playing a game with goddamn health bars again. But hey, you know, looks decent enough, I suppose. Right, charge you useless shits. The enemy waver, my lord. Their troops begin to flee. Run the cowards down. 
And you're going to start engaging the goblin archers, and... Right, never mind. If the goblins get in the way, gun them the fuck down. They're just goblins. Ooh. Now that's pretty cool. I like that. That was pretty neato cheeto. Damn. I throw a lot of that shit, huh? Without stopping their movement either. Hm, impressive. The enemy wavers as they're being absolutely, completely butt raped. Ouchies! These things are a lot squishier than I had imagined. You know, I feel as if my grand flanking plan was perhaps not quite as necessary as I uh, as I initially imagined. It uh, it kind of feels like maybe I I didn't need to bother. Yep, yep, it, it really does feel like I, I didn't really need to bother. Ah, right, a classic Total War battle over within five seconds of making contact. <laughs> Alright. Well, um, that was, um, uh, that was certainly quick. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, well. A flank was integral, <laughs> was it now? I'm not so sure about that. Ah, uh, right. Well, um, I I did have some casualties. I lo I lost some goblins. Uh, so there's that. You know. At last, the defenses have fallen, my lord. Ah, at last. It took us so long. It took us absolute ages. You see. All right. Oh God. Yes, yes, tutorial, tutorial, yes. So, occupy, occupy his factory, sack and raise. Several Spanish raw materials. Factories expend raw materials to generate armaments and income and provide more advanced recruitment options. Alright, well, I definitely need um, production materials now, so we're going to occupy that as an outpost, most assuredly. Which gets us the Dawnstone. <laughs> Disgusting, shiny, elven bauble. Nobody likes that nonsense. Alright, what we got here? Root marcher? I mean, yes. Yes. Because movement speed is just sort of vital. Increased mobility? Um, yes, yes. Just move nice and fast. Our basically non-existent casualties have not really impeded us in the slightest, so... recruitment is available to... We will simply recruit um, some flankers. I am see. Uh, I really want hobgoblin wolf rides with bows, okay? Because the entire point of the hobgoblins is that they have the enormous hobgoblin carnet off to the east, where they're very like Mongolians and stuff, okay? But like Mount our Archer cavalry in Total War has in well not in Total War, but in Total War One has always felt kind of ass. Because nine times out of ten, the enemy just runs screaming towards you anyways. There's not really much of a skirmishing phase. Hmm. But, <sighs> range units are also ridiculously powerful, so there is that. At the same time, do I want to wait two turns to push on here? That seems kind of wasteful as well, doesn't it? Really, really does. Oh no! Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong recruitment thing. Okay, let's let's get some hobgoblin wolf riders then, just for uh, this for style points, basically. Garrison outpost, money pit, income generating, strip mine, and mustering camp. Damn, do I have, like, no order buildings whatsoever? Income, guard tower, okay, I do, but it's a tier 2 building, oof. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna have to get used to some pretty awful control, aren't we? Hmm, really awful control, in fact. Does this increase it? Control 2, in, no, not really. Oh, no, it gives me 1. Oh, well, 
There you go. All right, very well, very well. I still don't have anything more to use here. I do not. Doom skull key. Um, you just you know do whatever you're doing. Which is basically nothing. Hmm. Left. Researching, doing stuff. Uh, diplomacy. Is there anybody else I can, you know, chat with around here? I do actually have a trade deal with them. I've got more dwarves down here who really don't like me for some reason. Just randomly, just random aversion. No, nope, just servants left. of the conclave. Okay, fair right. enough. Everybody else hates my ass. Yep, that sounds about right for Chaos Dwarves, frankly. Uh, check labor actions on the left corner above your control. Alright, I'll do that next turn. I do need to build an enormous tower, that's true. Specifically just to hurl Skaven prisoners of war off of. And there are Skaven right over there. Well, I'm mildly, uh, waylaid at the moment, dealing with the Greenskins, but as soon as they're off out of the way, we are definitely going to go find ourselves some Skaven Drazo. to toss off a tall thing. Legendary hero. Aha. Very well. Arnu. Not quite enough to get that in one turn. I don't know. I don't think I've got enough to go there and raid, do I? Raid stance. 25. Maybe. 23. 25. Maybe. Mm. No. Okay, well. Just be alone it then. Wait. I will. Hi! Who are you? Oh, this has got to be one of those, like, yes, those China room things. Most ones. I don't know who you are. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about you. Am I supposed to raid you? Uh, army can I move a travel to of attacks. I'm presuming I'm supposed to kill these to steal their shit. That would seem like the reasonable thing to do. Yeah, you can reach that in one turn, so you might as well bring some reinforcements. Uh, oh, oof, I'm actually not earning any money. Um, I might be earning some money once I take that over. No, the income in this game is pathetic, so probably not. All right. A uh, labor tab, somebody mentioned. Okay, let's see if I can find a labor tab. Military... Military convoys. Red nickel mine? Cost. Hmm... Overall threat high. Okay, but once I've secured that territory, I probably have a decent convoy thing. Okay, I need to... Caravans and money bags. Yes, yes, says chat. Okay, right, thank you. That makes sense. Uh, labor, 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 Doom skull key. labor, accept new labor, any news labor your faction receives, sell labor, set an example, sacrifice, aha, labor costs 200, Execute some upstart. Ooh, I like that. That's a pretty cool thing. Ooh, yes. Yes, that's quite cute. All right, how many laborers do I have? I've got 973. I'm minus 48. Is that because I'm sending them over here? No, a percentage lost each turn based on your control level. Okay. Right, well, at this point, I'm heading quickly towards a, a revolution, so let's let's just kill some of them. That should also reduce my overall unrest level, shouldn't it? Because I'll have a smaller labor population. All right, I like that. That's a cool mechanic. That's a pretty cool mechanic. Right, can you reach my capital in one turn? You can. Can I reach yours? Yes. So I don't really need to move you just yet, do I? Nope, I really don't. Yep. Zephor, you're gonna have to wait there for one more turn. 
Do I have money? I do, but I should probably just save for that. Because I'm going to need order really, 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 really badly. And again, I'm going to need money too. Let's get the money pet, because I'm going to unlock another building thing anyways. Uh, Mercer Holt donates a very generous $50, saying, Hey Arch, just dropping by, I thought I'd let you know that my brother is using Dragon Ogres in his next D&D campaign as a boss monster. They are playing in 2nd edition. That's good, Dragon Ogres are a good boss monster. Very tough. And this is why my party ran away from him instead of fighting him. Cowards. Mm, hungry wolfies. Hungry, hungry woofy woofs. I'm presuming attacking caravans will have negative consequences as well, though. Most wise. Peasant archers. They really should be a conglomeration of various mercenaries, primarily from the Empire, though, not from, not from China, actually. Oh, probably should have moved you too, shouldn't I? How oh, silly of me. Can you do anything? What can you do? Assault unit. Oh, makes sense. He might still be in range. Alright, Sifor. Time for you to start wandering over here and uh, get ready to join the great big portal. Ideally... I'll fight them in the open. The enemy bring reinforcements to the fight. Which they'll accept. An attack be wise. Settlement garrison. Well, you know, I don't care if it's wise. We're going for it regardless. Alright, mostly goblins. Mostly goblins. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident to deal with goblins. I do. Hmm. Like a die. Hmm. I need to toy around with them a little bit more. Alright, so we've got reinforcements coming in from over there. I'm tempted to... I'm very tempted to... Yeah, it's all goblins. Yes, there's no reason why I wouldn't do that. Yep, no, I'm abs I am absolutely screwing them over. Because when they come in there, they're going to get pelted by throwing knives. And then I just rush over there and I murder them with absolutely everything I've got. Yes, yes, absolutely do that. Oh, you got forward deployment too! Wow. Yep, yep, I am loving the hell out of the hobgoblins. The hobgoblins are amazing and I love them. Oh, they're even gonna be... <laughs> they can't even leave! <laughs> Wait, can you... Aww, they can't. Right, well, that's a tragedy. You guys be over there. Follow those up with the useless little laborers. And I think... We'll have the blunderbosses as kind of like a little bit of a flanking force, and the Kadai is a little bit of a flanking force too. Now, how did I turn off this goddamn window? There you go. Alright. Is that okay? That looks pretty good. Put you out there. I still didn't check if you were a sorcerer or whatnot. I'm hoping you're bonky. Ah, you said your. Okay, you set your axe on fire, and then you immediately ext extinguish it again. You're a bit retarded, you know that, right? Just a little bit. A little bit. Not too retarded, mind you. Like, I'm not judging, I'm just saying, you are retarded. You are on the spectrum. Soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They await your orders. Alright, begin moving, my little lads. Everybody on the move? Good. Come on, little buddies. Come on. Come on, little buddies. Oh, God. Don't tell me. They've got too many units on the field to, re to receive reinforcements or something. Well, my... Brilliant flanking maneuver has been... Oh, no, no, they arrive... Ow, oh, they don't arrive immediately. Mm, okay. Well, that makes a certain amount of sense. Hmm. Okay, in that case, you guys go over there and start harassing that a little bit. 
The rest of you, keep moving as planned. He's magic boy, chat says. Yep, does indeed look like it. Dreadquake battery. Ooh. That looks pretty cute. Uh, what are these? These are wolf riders. Okay, so we gotta be a little bit careful. The enemy approach on monks, Commander. Would you just shut up already? I know! That look, they're cavalry! Wow, have you never played a video game before? In which case, you might want to know that they're cavalry. Like, cavalry are like fast and stuff. I know, video game. Jesus Christ, calm down. Uh, tards! Thorough Sakinkis. We're beginning to talk a little bit, uh... We're beginning to talk a little bit simmy here. Simmish. Alright. And... You guys... I keep thinking these guys are hotkeyed to two for some reason. Wait, is this a global? <gasps> It is. Well, by all means, fire then. Boom. 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 Okay, that's a bit powerful. Holy shit. Okie dokie. Ah, there you come. All right. with caution, Commander. I'll have you guys get in there. Don't want to send the laborers in. Alright. Let's see. Range damage. Leadership. Now that would be useful. Yep. You guys too. Hmm. The fact that they arrive at a timing thing is a little bit annoying, so it does kind of catch me out a pinch. Oh. You did show up. Little tard. On the side of the goddamn map. Right. That unit is pretty much dealt with, so I'm not too worried about that. The sneaky gits are a bit softer than I'd perhaps anticipated. Okay, unfortunate. I feel like I've set myself up to get sandwiched here a bit more than I was entirely expecting or wanting. Right, you guys go and deal with those last few wolf riders. Did you cast that spell? I don't think you did. Do. And laborers. Do I want to throw you guys in there? I probably do. And we'll keep these occupied with the warriors for the time being. Jesus, already? I am. I'm gonna kill them, all of them, because they're being stupid and retarded and bad. You, over there. Damn, units are so much squishier than I remember. Alright. I mean, if you're gonna all go over there, I'm actually quite fine with that, because that means you're gonna throw yourself directly onto my warriors. Which I don't really mind. No, 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 no. I hope you're not on any kind of, like, retreat move or something. You are, aren't you? What are you doing? Dumbasses. Right. Move those into flanking position. You're all the way over there. Well, Zufor, I doubt you're going to get overly involved in this battle, but, you know, it was nice for you to, you know, show up. It was very kind of you, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Your contribution will no doubt be uh, highly valued uh, somewhere, somewhere else, maybe. What the hell? Is that off? Move! You guys deal with that a little bit, and we're going to try and break that unit of Orc boys first and foremost. Get in there. Yep, they're broken. Okay. Disengage. Tie up those. Right. 
And you guys. Go over there. You can shoot at that. I should probably use that. Yes, I should definitely use that. Okay, you guys start shooting into the rear of those units. Actually, kill those goblins first. And you lads. Go kill that. Yep, the blunderbuss has dealt with the goblins quite nicely. I need a little bit of extra persuasion in melee. Very well. If you insist. I'm surprised these guys are still fighting, honestly. Now, stand and fight, morons. Jesus. Shh. Ugh. I am starting to remember some of my frustrations with this game about units following orders. Okay, so you're probably tied to that unit, aren't you? Okay, so you can't really retreat because they're locked onto you. The enemy attack your flank, Commander. Working on it. My biggest problem is probably going to be the fact that all of their lords are going to be fine and healthy by the end of this. Meaning I'm going to have to find some way of killing them. Your accuracy is truly the, the stuff of legends, boys. You're, you're hitting some enemies too, though, so I suppose that's okay. Jesus. Alright, is that the archers dealt with? It is. Ooh, Orc war boss. No. I want to play. Oh, they gave up? A bit messier of a battle than I'd intended, but I suppose it worked out in the end. Right, definitely do want to try and run some of them down here so they can't retreat. Jesus. Well, this is a pile and a half of deads. Ooh, a literal carpet. Lovely. We do like carpets of the dead, after all. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. And go chase some of those down, too. All right, Chaos Dwarf Warriors, amazing, amazing balls, very, very tough. Uh, sneaky Gits, not very tough. Better for ambush jobs rather than anything else, because uh, they squish very quickly. Even against goblins, they squish pretty goddamn quickly. The fiery things, too, very squishy. The Infernal Guard, having seen the retarded melee weapons, I figured they'd do okay in melee. No, not really. Better kept at a distance. The Chaos Dwarf Blunderbusters. Pretty goddamn cool. The enormous call in bomb thingies. Ridiculously over the top devastating. Use more. Uh, orc laborers. Not bad. Not bad in the slightest, in fact. But the stars there were obviously the Chaos Dwarf Warriors. They did really, 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 really well. Firic victory. I don't know about Firic. 570. That sounds like a bad idea. That, that sounds like I'm going to basically cause every single one of my territories to rebel against me. So how about we just take replenishments for now, eh? Well, I did get a level. And I think I'm just gonna. No, no, that was strong button. Just kill him. Thank you. All right, and occupy as. What I want. I I'm thinking, honestly, more outposts, because I'm gonna need a lot of those resources. And I'm only getting like a hundred. So let's occupy. When do they start making? Because I'm still only getting a hundred. 
Uh, income generated, chaos divided, income generated again. Hold on, arches? They don't. I'm presuming a building they have does it then. Ah, strip mine, of course. Yep, that makes sense. Alright, not too bad. A couple of free levels. And that army should then attack me again next turn, giving me yet other free levels. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so if you're a mage, we're going to want to give you stuff. Passive ability, killing fire. The fact that I'm for meteors, they have Ooh. That's very good. Ticking AoE dot is great. We're definitely going to get that. Curse of Hushut. Uh, cool now. What does it do? What, what, what does it do? What does it do? Causes damage to combatants, strongest cannon, strongest single combatants. Okay, so it's kind of assassination spells. I don't mind those. Those are pretty good. Uh, weakness of fire damage, plus 20. Okay. Dark subjugation. Leadership and melee defense. That's always good in this game because leadership is so goddamn low. Hmm. We're definitely going to want inspiring presence first, though. Not better as a tergi. Alright, you too. Okay, so they're, that's basically the same kind of like general issue wizard sorcerer kind of guy. Okay, fair enough. And for you. Hmm. Boost income, block army, specialist. Well, I'm thinking you'll be a combat dude first and foremost. Bandolier, ammunition. I doubt you'll be running out of ammo anytime soon. Piercing shot all the way. Not even taking attrition in my territory. That must suck. Alright, let's get uh, marble quarry. Workload 400. Karoom. Cargo accounts for caravan. Sinkum trade tariff. Right, can't afford that yet, but we can now check out the caravan thingy because that makes that direction safe-ish, I'm guessing. Yes, looks like it. All right. Come on, army is an infernal stinson room. It's one with the following units. 750. <laughs> All right. I have no idea what this does, by the way. So, incoming. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this gets me stuff in trade for other stuff. All right. Well, hmm. I don't want to send out money right now. Nor do I really want to send out raw materials either. So we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. I'm getting plus, plus four. Why am I getting plus four? Military presence, goes into divided corruption, events. Events, I'm guessing. Loads and loads and loads of laborers. Star Wolves, Hobgoblin Quartermasters, Mellow Defense for Laborers, Hobgoblins, Hobbling and Wolf Riders. That's not a bad thing. Living Metal, Industry. I could use some industry. Post Battle. I don't need more of that. Trade Tariffs, Veteran Convoy. Convoy, Wartime Economy. Sorcery? Yeah, we're going to want Tallest Tower because order. Order is very important. Right, what have we got? Construction cost, military dictrict, high quarters, control. Probably just straight up controls now, as we're gonna spend a couple turns uh, fortifying a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna do the convoy just yet. Ah, Primark videos. Um, no, okay, so, according to Chan, um, the reason why I'm not making Primark... Sent to victory. Really? 
Oh, yes, most of them stuff got us in the units. Do I care? I do care about the sneaky gits, though. I do actually care about the sneaky gits, so we'll fight it. So the reason why I haven't done the other Chaos um, or Primark videos is because they require so much work. That's, that's literally it. Because you need to read up a lot on them. Because each Primarch, you've got to go through the Horus Heresy, obviously, which is an ass load of books. And you've also got to go through the various supplementary books as well to get a good grasp of each Primarch. So, basically, they just take too much time, as I'm in the middle of doing all kinds of other projects as well at the moment. That's why the Primarch videos have uh, been AFK. And probably, honestly, will continue to be for quite some time until I uh, get myself a decent amount of uh, spare time. Put you over that too. Click, click. We're not up against much, honestly. I feel like my wolf riders might be able to deal with most of my opposition right here. Well, set up over here, Misa thinks. You guys go hiding as well. Don't want to use... I was, I was not impressed by the fire glades, if I must be entirely honest with you. I felt like they were kind of under underwhelming. I quite liked the blunderbusses, and I feel like they'll probably make a very cool flanking unit. You just chill over there, and... I had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys have plenty of dudes left. We'll just use you as uh, basic infantry for this one, lads. I know, I don't know. It's a task that is truly beneath you, but... That's how it's gonna have to be, I'm afraid. Shut up! Shut up! I'm sure there's a way to turn that off. In fact, I should probably look at turning it off. Go on, little goblins. Kill their disgusting little goblins. Their goblins are no match for my goblins. My goblins have arrows that are on fire. How do you feel about that, you silly little knockoffs? You don't like that at all, do you? No. Stupid wolves. You've chosen the wrong masters. Oh, you're going to follow me back towards even more archers? Okay. I'm, I'm actually quite fine with this. This is an okay thing for you to do. And then suddenly, the wolf riders realized they had committed to a tremendous mistake. And they were all about to die a most horrible, screamy death. Farewell. Oh, more wolf riders. I believe they too have committed themselves to a most... Are you just... Is it because... No, I've turned off skirmish mode, right? Uh, you little idiots are still in skirmish mode. Stop! Skirmish mode. Skirmish mode, bad. Awful. Off. Off. Right. Well, that's one way to deal with enemy cavalry. A fairly effective one as well. About there. I wonder if the AI can see that. Because if it can, it really should stop moving. Yes, yes it can. Okay, right. So it will try to avoid the bombardments. Right, well. Fair. Fair enough. You know, this is intelligent. I can't blame them too much for that. I can yell at them for it and be a bit disappointed, but I can't yell at them too much. Come on, boys. Fire your laser rifles at the enemy. Get a bit closer. Right, Z4. You might actually be able to make it to a battle this time. Oh, Jesus. The magic seems a little bit ridiculously good, doesn't it? Like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's just mean. Oh, Jesus, that's just cruel and unusual. Sardu gets. I mean, we wanted to be Sardukar, but we could only be Gits. Well, you tried. Oh. I guess I just blew myself up. 
Unfortunate. Unavoidable, but unfortunate. Will the Black Oaks actually make it into combat? Uh, sort of. Sort of. Kind of. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. There you go. Now you can go. Alright. I gotta admit, I, I do... I do quite like some of these weapons. They are, uh, they're, they're rather ridiculous. Almost perhaps a little bit too ridiculous, frankly. Oh, hold there. Hold, hold, hold. You're gonna get in the way of the blunderbusses again. Believe you me, that's not a place you want to be. I don't know about the sound effects, mind you. They're, they, they sound a little bit too... Plinky, plonky, wonky, donkey. I don't like that. Like, they should be like, boom, 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 you know? Instead, they kind of sound like, like, crossbow quarrelers, don't they? Weirdly. Don't they? They do, don't they? Oh, not that that Chaos War, uh, Chaos, that Orc Warlord will ever get to notice, but... Yeah, no, they do sound like crossbows. Like, you even got that little, like, like twang as the bolt, like, leaves the thing, you know? Oh, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, you can hear the string. Exactly, Tattertech Marine. Yeah, they, they needed to be, like, like, because a blunderbuss, like, it's not even something you aim. Literally, in the, like, role-playing game uh, rules, it is just a conal effect. That is it. It's, it's like just a... Yep, everything in front of it gets hit. Done deal. Nice and simple. Is available should you need it, my lord. You may rely upon it. So How about you do. never, ever, 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 ever speak ever, ever, ever again? Thank you. It needs to be just an, an enormous just boom. That's what it needs to be. Because that's what it should be. Because that's what it is. It's just an enormous boomstick. It's a tremendously massive boomstick. Alright, well that gives me at least a little bit of income. Uh, so, the elves are obviously going to hate my ass, so I might want to deal with them sooner rather than later. The dwarves are obviously going to hate my ass, so I might want to deal with them sooner later. Uh, the other chaos dwarves obviously hate my ass, so I might deal with it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm a pin surrounded by hostiles here, frankly. Alright, um... As much as I hate to say it, the Skaven might have to come for another day. Um, what's the most, like, immediate? Like, I'm tempted to invade the Chaos Dwarves, because that would give me a border with Chaos Dwarves that actually sort of pseudo-kinda like me. And it would allow me to get close to Zarnagro. But I'm gonna also have to get... Hmm. 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 Are there any, uh, Are there any, like, no, I don't think there are. I don't think there are any confederation options, which is a bit tragic. No, I don't think there is. Ah, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, so, I do believe there is, like, a tiny elf presence in the Darkland, but I, th I think it's it's more out, like, to sea here. There's, like, a fortress or something. So, they wouldn't be launching, you know, offensive expeditions like this, but it's not an entirely impossible thing either. Hmm. Do I deal with the Argos first, or do I deal with the High Elves first? I suppose I trust the Ogres more than I do the High Elves, everything considered. Uh, okay, improving. Oh, alright. So, yeah, because they don't like the Orcs. So I'm, kind, I'm probably pseudo-safe from the North. 
Minus a hundred. Yep, yep. That, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Minus a hundred. Yep, that too sounds about right. All right. Okay. Yep. We'll leave the ogres alone, and uh, we're gonna go for the elves next up. Then, as our natural enemies. Kualuma. I'd like to get rid of these, honestly. Uh, can we? We need a hundred and fifteen to get more warriors. And I feel like we're gonna need more warriors. Like, if laborers can't deal with goblins, they're not gonna deal with high elf spearmen very well now, are they? No, no, they really, really are not. Per unit. Okay, so this is where I can upgrade the... Passive ability frenzy. And I can put that on a unit? I'm a little bit confused. No, that upgrades all melee infantry. Okay, that's potentially super powerful. Way too expensive for me to be able to afford right now, mind you, but that is super powerful. Alright, we're gonna want strip mining. Right, this much labor in the province. Well, that's not going to be a problem for the moment, at least. So let's let's get to strip mining. High power drill assembly. Income generated five hundred. Ooh, very nice. Plus five. No, it's not that much. Workload armament. That increases armaments. Right. Right. Very useful. And that just needs good old-fashioned money. Hmm. Very well. 66, 11 per turn. Conclave influence. Conclaves can spend to claim powerful rewards in the Tower of Zard and occupy settlements at a higher building levels. Tower of Zard. So it turns 75. Okay, so that's something I'll unlock. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. What's your upkeep? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Not inconsiderable. Alright, let's get this rid of you little tards. And we'll begin... Do we go for the fortress first? The fortress of Urak. Right, you! You're gonna go be my little infiltrator spy. You are gonna head over to the Darkhold. And you can just sit in the Sentinels for now. Alright, let's level you up. Infernal Slugs. Projectile range minus 50. I don't know if I like that. Explosive bullets ammunition. Projectile will cause explosive damage. That is nice. I mean, that is nice, but I feel like these should be more like snipery kind of guys, you know? We're going to turn him into a little bit of an anti-hero kind of guy, because that just sounds Alpha, fun. Alright, what is useful here? What is useful here? Um, I like these, but they are stupendously squishy. I... 11. How long do I need? That's the wrong button. I need a long ass time to get more warriors. A long ass time. Right, okay, we're just gonna have to rely on some, uh, some hobgoblins. Uh, I'm gonna disband this one because they're more ambushy infantry. We're gonna get... Actually, we'll just save for now until we got enough money to actually buy all of them so as not to waste cash on upkeeps. Uh, Alex Massey says, Arch, when does the historical channel launch? Okay, so the historical channel, we are beginning animations of some of the videos now. Uh, then there's going to be a little bit of focus testing, which I'm going to have uh, extend to my supporters. Because we're going to have um, one of the things we're going to do. In fact, actually, hold on just a squeaky little second there. And I'm going to see if I can't find it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at some of the things we've got working on there. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, let's see. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh. So one of the series that we are intending to do is going to be a shorter style uh, series where we're going to use little uh, little chibis. If the thing will... Oh, God, that's a, it's a tiny bit large. And then move them in off, off the screen. God damn it. That moved in completely off the screen. Well, this got awfully complicated because of the enormous size of the picture. As I struggle to grasp it. Oh, never mind. We'll use another one. We'll simply just pick another one. Nice and simple. Where we're going to use little cheapies. Jesus. Yes, Funko Pops, almost. <laughs> Not quite, but close. There, now we just need to scale that down until a point where it isn't covering the entire screen. There we go. Uh, to tell smaller stories, uh, like, for example, uh, how and why they started shooting through aircraft propellers uh, during the First World War, or uh, what a shot trap on a tank is, or why people moved uh, into guns instead of you know, bows and arrows, for example. Because a bow and arrow is a much better weapon than, than the initial um, uh, gunpowder weaponry were. As initial gunpowder weaponry were created basically just to create a loud noise, rather than really anything else. That was one of the big parts about it. We're also going to do proper stuff, though, where we're going to do far more, and these will have, we will have voice acted, actually. I have found some very talented voice actresses to voice act some of the chibi stuff to make it a bit more uh, endearing to a wider audience. I, too, am going to embrace the curse of the wider audience. And then we're going to do far more serious stuff uh, aimed at major historical conflicts, including, we're going to start, I think with the Russo-Japanese War of 1904. And we're kind of going to have that as World War Zero, where we're going to test out a lot of the ideas for what we're going to do. And we're then also going to do more unusual stuff. Now, the resolution on this one's a bit derped up, but I definitely want to cover Pike and Shot, because Pike and Shot is an incredibly interesting period. And this one here is from one of the ideas I've got. For you see, the Lord of Orange, the guy who revolutionized warfare in the Netherlands at the time, he had a really cool system, but he tested out um, various ideas for military formations by creating mock battles. And one of these ideas was super heavy legionnaire style plate armored infantry. Oh god, does that sound awesome. The, um, they tried them out against regular pike formations and they absolutely stomped them. The only reasons they didn't bring them into proper order and production was because they cost the earth, and because you could only have the biggest and the strongest bastards of amongst the entire army to try and do this. Because the arm, like the shield alone, was a solid piece of metal. Like it weighed like I think fifteen kilos, and then the sword, and then the armor, and everything else. Like these, these, these bastards were tucking out after like fifteen minutes of fighting. Like it was um, trying, shall we say? But it was they were really, really cool. Starting out with waifus, maybe yes. Uh, Mark Shame says, it wasn't Archon that destroyed the old world, it was a chibi. That's true. That's true. My nice chibis would destroy the world, probably. The right, so you, you said this guy buffs hobgoblins. Um, I don't even turn psychology, come to face. Just for the project, because I want to call more criminalization. Oh, 10% physical resistance. Nice. Yeah, he does. Box times. We're gonna have to get, like, a proper hobgoblin army. Like, that would be cool. Yes, yes, we're gonna make a thematic hobgoblin army. Absolutely. Okay, so that- oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, holy archer spam. Oh, whoa. Okay. And dragon princes and a sun dragon. Ouchies. Um, all right. A sun dragon. How do we, how do we deal with a sun dragon? Um, spam spells at it, I guess. <laughs> Um, how do we deal with a sun dragon? Mm, bog it down with orc laborers? Maybe? Like, pour an ass load of ranged fire into it? Maybe? And then use, like, the heroes and spells? That's probably my best bet, isn't it? And then we're gonna want, uh, we're gonna want a, just an actual ass Dragon load of goblin wake. wolf riders here because Jesus Christ, that is gonna hurt like no tomorrow. How wise. Like that is, that is awful. That is actually unbelievably awful. Ouch, just looking at it makes me feel bad. Right, okay, well, um, pandemic preparations, Kazan of Corruption. Mela Defense Leadership, that wouldn't be bad, but I don't really need it right now either. Does any of this give me more armaments, perchance, because that'd be really useful right about now. Missile Strength, that would be useful. Reload Time Reduction, that'd be really useful too. Recruitment, duration, mandatory service, new. No. Laborers, hobby homes, and wolf riders. I don't really know. Sorcerers. Let's go for that, because we could really and use some more heroes. We could really, really use some more heroes. Doomless. <laughs> you deal with the sun dragon by running away from it? That's kind of true. I mean, it would be nice if the ogres declared war on them and beat them up for me. That'd be lovely, but somehow I doubt I'll be that lucky. Alex Adamson says, I'd love to see you explain Stalingrad with waifus. I mean, you could. So the, the chibi ones are supposed to be far more uh, limited in nature and explaining like a single, relatively simplistic concept, but you absolutely could. Like, why was Stalingrad a thing? Well, it was a giant trap. Simple as. Greatest of the dragon princes. It was a way for the Soviets to actually trap an enemy army and uh, annihilate it, which they succeeded in doing. I probably want to... Um... Not very good odds, is it? And it's a lot of money, too. I probably want to embed him in an army. I probably do, just to give myself a little bit of an extra... Wait, are these Mount Silver Spam, Mount Grey Hair, Crookback Mountain? Where's the third one? Mount Silver Spear. Up there, maybe? Cause I'm tempted to maybe take this first then, because I'm less afraid of the Skaven, and frankly, that army just looks like a pain in the ass to deal with. I might go for the Skaven first, because I don't want to deal with, like, 20 I units of high elf archers. I really don't. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna want two of those, and another one of those. And we're probably gonna want two of those, and then two more of those. And then it'll give us... Yep, like, one or more turn of, uh... Building up our finances. Ooh, that unlocks the Tower of Zar. Okay. Uh, immediately cause wall breaches when besieging. That's nice. Uh, Tower of Zar consists of seats. Which can be claimed to gain power. Let me see. Cost. Districts. Okay, so that's the overall reward for claiming the entire district. 
four tiers. Ooh, nice. I do like that. That's a cool mechanic. I do quite like that. Um, armament and raw industry. Income settlement. Facility. Grants random follower or banner instantly every three turns. That's really good. Chaos and Norska. That's really good too. That's really good. All of these are really good. That's really good. Wow, yeah, all of these are really good. Jesus. Random weapon or armor in silly every three turns. Hmm. Hmm. That would be really nice because it would completely secure my northern borders and possibly open up trade relationships too. But it's just, it's just a flat 20, which isn't the best thing in the world either, because that barely makes up for the aversion. Mm. That's armament, and I really need more armaments. Yeah, that one. Because armament is just so important. I need armament so, 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 so bad. Okay, we've got lots of chaos corruption. We've got plus 14 now, which is a lot. We can maybe even afford to do something else. Armament output plus 10, for example. Yes, yes, yes. If you did, I'm not expecting you to go tick history levels of detail. The man has been working on his Stalingrad series for over a year with dozens of 40 plus minutes episodes. Oh, you can absolutely go f very deep in detail. You could. A lot of detail. I'm planning on doing many series and then probably go more into medium detail for these, most of them. The uh, Russo-Japanese War, for example, will be fairly lengthy and fairly detailed, but I'm not going to go into depths on, uh, for example, the the uh, uh, Chinese-Japanese uh, War that preceded it. I'm going to mention it, I'm going to explain the reasons why it happened, etc. But I'm not going to go into it as a part of it. If anything, I'm going to cover that separately, I think. Right, I've probably got enough money now, so we're going to need two Coblin Cutthroats. We're going to need a Hoblin... Hob Hoblin? A Hoblin Wolf Rider. And we'll set ourselves up. Am I going to... Hmm. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. So that is going to cause me to start getting... Ah, oh God, yes. Uh, oh, because the event ended. Ugh. Okay, fine. Back to billowing smoke again, Our then, I guess. Right. Definitely more of those, because we're going to need more of a front line than just our warriors. And a couple of those. And that'll leave us with just two more units needed. Hero action cost for Bull Centaur Taurok. Hero capacity. We're going to go for that one. What are Endrini? And we're going to save for the next big tower, methinks. Hobgoblin by a bivouac. Is that something I can create everywhere else? Yes. Yes. So I am going to tear that down eventually and move it over onto one of the smaller settlements, but we're not going to bother about with that just yet. Mino. Not just yet. Not just yet. Alright, that gives us enough for another increase in warriors. We're going to hold off on it for now. Just because I might unlock something cool when I upgrade my tower. There's a room, Bengul. Ekubelu Oskan. Unanu Iskandus. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, very well. I I accept, I guess. It's like yeah, it's time for war. Correct. You're 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 entirely right in that. You're entirely correct. As always, big little scaven boy. Uh, skittering assault. Defeat the following lord's army. A thousand treasury. Now the 
It doesn't seem like much of an army, I see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's the army. All right. Well, since we're just about ready anyways, um... Assault units? 50-50, assassinates. I'll try and assault them. Go on, little boy. Stab him. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get him. He fails. You wasted my money. You used this little shit. Army composition. Melee, 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 melee. Okay. Right. So the the exact opposite of the elves. Eat my dick. Um. All right. Well, never mind then. I guess we're getting ourselves some more warriors. Is up, crew. I should get some great weapons, because if I if I want to deal with that goddamn dragon, I'm probably gonna need some great weapons. But I don't like how they look. I don't. They look dumb. I don't want them. I don't like them. Ah. Even though, again, in in total, what I'm you should always get the great weapons, because they just better. They'll perform better in, like, every single scenario. But I don't like them. I don't like them. Wingy noises. Right. And you can get yourself a couple of what? I kind of want more wolf riders, honestly. Right, we're gonna start working. So this guy's army is gonna be the Hobgoblin army. Because that, that was, Zufor was always a kind-hearted and welcoming man, until he met the Skaven. After which he became considerably less welcoming. Yes, yes, I like that. That makes a tremendous amount of sense from his uh, point of view. I was a bit disappointed by the damage the uh, Goblin Wolf Riders with bows did, but at the same time... And actually, they're, they're even... Yeah, no, they're no, they're not as good in melee, but they're comparable. Let's get a couple more with spears. Right? Do I? Oh god, I'm a thousand. I'm like a hundred points away. Dick. Dick dog. Right. Let's see if the Skaven will come to me. Mark Esther says, "Really good to hear that you're gonna give the Uverso." What you? You're over there! Ah, oh, you little... Well, that's annoying. Uh, I didn't know you were over there. Wait, I am at war with the clan I think I'm at war with, right? No, I want to go back to the thing. I want to... Oh, that is frustrating. Okay, well, I didn't see that. Then again, they are invisible, so... Uh... Alright, well, never mind. Okay, so they've got two stacks. Am I... I am... Am I... Oh, I'm confused now. I'm at war with a completely different clan, aren't I? But no, because it marked that clan. Who am I at war with? Yeah, I am at war with those. It's just that they had an arp. Okay, it, pro it was probably over here or something, but it's literally invisible, so you can't see the damn thing. Okay, well, frustrating as all hell, but what can you do? They're Skaven. That is literally their thing. I would like if I could keep you from being gay with me. Those that serve your cause. He's just awful at his job. Um. Well, it's pointless trying to deal with both of them because you're not going to be able to. So we might as well just push the main army straight down their throats. And then we'll have Zufor kind of rally back and begin creating a... But I can't. I have no way to afford that. Hmm. Right, well, we'll have the... Regardless, we'll have the main army push forward. Just a little settlement. Uh, decisive victory. What am I likely to lose here? 
Am I likely to mo lose more by fighting than I am by decisively victorying it? Hmm. Good question. Let me see. If you auto-resolve it, you lose nothing. Okay, yeah, to be fair, I don't think I could do better than that. Tempted to... S uh, no, it, it'll earn me no money whatsoever, frankly, so... Factory? I do need to start working on factories. And if lucky, they'll counter-attack me. Right, so what's the garrison over here looking like? The garrison... nothing. Next to nothing. He's at least one turn away. Do I burn money? Will he be in range of my army? Maybe. Not certainly. Maybe. Alright, so your army is going to be more focused around the Chaos Dwarves themselves. Uh, dark Subjugation will be very good against the Skaven, so we're going to pick that. Uh, dig in upgrade. Range 60, missile resistance 15, expert charge defense. Digging 25 seconds. That's pretty cool. I like that. Speed. I don't like that. Uh, cinder Blast shells. Causes a fire damage. Powerful explosion. Strong versus multiple combatants. That's pretty cool. Or just straight up damage. No, that one. Alright, so we really can't afford anything. Uh, the Black Fortress. Let's begin upgrading it. What kind of a garrison do you have? Uh, not an awful one. I could maybe win? Maybe. If I recruited a lord, I could probably win, but oh, yep, no, nope, definitely can't afford that. Alright, so anything I buy, except goblins, are gonna put me over my limit, and goblins frankly aren't gonna help me out much here against a full stack of Skaven. Bad idea. Hmm. I don't really have a great deal of money to burn either. Could I send out a convoy to get me some money? Create convoy? Add master. Aha. Okay, so outgoing. Ugh, I don't want to send out armaments. Can I send out raw materials? No, it's money or armaments. Those are my only options. Ouch. It would give a lot of cash, I guess. Well, I don't have enough armaments regardless, so, eh. Alright, let's recruit one unit of cutthroats at least then, to give myself a little bit of a basic defense thing. Uh, bloody, bloody blade. And I might have to double this guy back and reinforce this, I think. Hmm, do I rush them down? Mino. If I get lucky, they'll return back and I can deal with their army. Because if they keep just attacking me on two fronts, well, then I'm going to get screwed. Because the AI has the advantage of being able to afford a lot more stacks than me. Because I need money. Money, 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 money. Alright, so is he... Yep, yeah, he's going for that straight up. Uh, can I intercept? No. Hmm. You can't even reach him. Um, so under way. Yeah, can't reach, could potentially intercept. Oh, see, this is the noise of dealing with two armies, because it's like, okay, how do I deal with that army and this army? You can't. I'm tempted to just push my advantage. But that would rely on me being able to win a defensive battle. Which, with the garrison forces I've got available here, I am not at all confident in doing. Malfunction. 
But with another turn of recruitment, maybe. It's a big gamble, though. Bad plan, it's an awfully big gamble. But if I double back, then they can just retake that, and I'm just as far as I've always been. Especially with another army sitting over there. Hmm. Because that will be easy enough. And... Uh, well, it's going to take me two turns to siege that down anyways. What? I gave one boys here an idea. I'm probably going to have to go for destroying their armies first and foremost. Because if I can destroy their armies... Then, at the very least, I will have the opportunity to try and push unobstructed. Not Scryer's will. That's going to return up there now, isn't it? Because it's never going to attack this. That's the problem. God, I'm more than a turn away from that too, so I can't even defend both. Oof. This is an awful position to be in. Do I save for another lord? Nah, it's gonna take forever. I really don't want to start going into debt. Really don't. Hmm. Any of this earn me cash? That will. Right. How many slaves do I have? I've got quite a lot. Uh, seal, sell labor. That one. Definitely that one. Alright, that gives me enough for another lord. And if I make that an overseer, do I make an overseer or a prophet? So the prophet will be better at dealing with larger numbers. Green skin scaven ogre tomb, king's vampire goes in the. Oof, that's actually kind of good, isn't it? Cruel. Income from raiding, income from sacking settlements. That one. <laughs> Right. That gives me a reasonable chance to hold the Black Fortress against the invaders. A reasonable chance. Uh, I don't. I don't know if the food thing affects the AI. Um, I do know they get a lot more money, which is why they can afford like two to three times your armies. And normally that's not a big deal because you just gotta fight an army outnumbered, which you can absolutely do. But. Uh, when you're in a situation where... Oh, wait, that's got upkeep too? Consumed. So I'm also consuming it. Ah, it's this thing, isn't it? Yes, because I'm not producing it. I shouldn't have turned that into a factory just yet. Right, and that retreated. Can I catch it? It's... I can't quite tell, maybe? Who's want some gordas? I think? So, Doomless. Hmm. Certainly. Oh, I've had a heart attack there. Yeah, no, that's not the that's not the Skaven army. Right. Well, let's go for it. Please reach. 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 Oh, they can still retreat even though they're in the underway. I wasn't even aware of that, and that's extraordinarily annoying. Um, oh god, no, I can't afford to do that. Ah, oh, this is such an awful position, because I can't afford to chase him across the wasteland, and so long as he can just move through terrain like that, I'll never catch him. Ah, fuck it, I should I just need to go for their settlements. I just need to get into the settlements, that's all I need to do. I thought they couldn't retreat after they did the underway move, but apparently they could. Yeah, because again, he can just, yeah, he'll just keep doing that forever. And there is... Because if I go there now, I'm going to use my entire move to get there. And then he's just going to retreat again, and I will never, ever, ever catch him in a million years. Yeah. And I'm going to be out of money in like two turns. Yep. Just not an option. Not an option. 
not going to be able to catch that one either. It would give me a thousand bucks if I could. I can't, but I'll make him retreat. Maybe if I get super lucky. No, he retreats out of my range. Yep, and then we're just going to have to fight that defensive battle. We do not have any other options, sadly. Uh, can I sell more labor? I can. Honestly, I probably have to, because I've got to buy myself time more so than anything here. Alright. I really don't want to get myself into deeper debt, but I don't think I have an op here. So we're gonna have to get two more sneaky gets, and we're just gonna have to try and push on and desperately grab something. I I do, I've got the dude in the this army, he's got the block army ability. The issue is that's also another 50-50 that'll eat even more of the money I don't have. So it's like I could do it. Uh, your rival was Zara's claimed a tower of Zara seat. Well, I mean, welcome to it. So this guy could block them, but I'd be spending money on maybe blocking the enemy, which is just not really a good option. It's like, I could perhaps manage to block them. And you'd have to spend money I don't have to block them. Yep. Oh, this is actually, uh... I'm tempted to just take that. Fan rats. Night runners. How badly does that screw me? Not at all. Okay, well. I am in a bit of a pickle here. I'm going to abuse the auto resolve system if I have to. Okay? I'm just going to goddamn take it. Uh, so, I can use my. Using influence. Okay, that's pretty cool. The game has put me in a position where I need to abuse its mechanics a wee old little bit. And so I am. So I am. Logistics is probably a good deal here because I'm going to need to reinforce really, really fast. Alright, what else have you got? I should blur. Hmm. But I'm I'm already hmm. Hmm. No, I'm already turning him into a battlefield guy. I don't want to turn around and change that just yet. No. Alright. And then if I can take Mount Silver's spear, that still does not earn me enough money to actually, you know, make up for all I'm losing, sadly. I could build anything that generates money. That would generate me 150, which would bring me close to even, but it would take two turns to build. Uh, I can still sell labor. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to sell off an ass ton of labor and build that. And hope to hell that I get something decent out of it. Right, so that gives me a lot more Hellforge options. I'm tempted to pop one of these buffs, but it doesn't, it's not really going to help me here, because I've mainly got uh, Hobgoblins in this army. It's not really going to be too useful, tragically. Yep. Yes, next hero. I am going to have to make the next hero one of the ranged dudes and turn him into a... Uh, a block army kind of guy. Definitely. And, well, if they're just gonna siege me... It buys me time, but it also means that my ability to hold that settlement gets worse and worse every turn. <sighs> Do I turn around? I really don't want to turn around, but... Because it's going to take me one, two, th two turns at least. And I don't know where their other army is. Which is mildly annoying. 
Okay, I can... Oof, I'm gonna run out of so much cash. Right, well, this army can't reach me this turn. My garrison is gonna be shit for a couple more turns, but he's not gonna be a threat immediately. Right. Dispatch him. Uh, win eight battles. I'm trying, I'm trying. And we're gonna go for him. He might just attack me now because all of my units are weak, but I'm semi confident in my ability to take him on in the field. Alright, veteran convoy master. Harbor guild, construction coins for ports. Not really useful right now. Hero recruit rank, that would be useful. Mandatory service, recruitment cost. Uh, recruitment upkeep would be far more useful. Leadership, martial training. Money. Need money. Need money. Need not money. Well, hero action cost is going to be very useful. I'm presuming I unlock the guy with some sort of building, which I do not have just yet. It is a gamble indeed. Oh god, you did... Seriously? <laughs> Alright, well, we're basically just gonna have to roll the dice on my ability to block the army. Uh, and that's basically gonna have to be what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, what, are, what are my odds? 37%. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay, that's incredibly awful. And it's going to cost... Yeah. Mm, Jesus. Okay, it's going to cost an arm and a leg. And I've only got a 37% chance. Okay. Dear Hashut, fuck me not. Pin is inserted. Right, that's my third straight failure. 50 50s and 37 percent. Every single one has failed miserably so far. Yep, and then he simply just walks away. Now, can I catch him with that army? I can, but I'm too far away from reinforcements and I'm not beating them in a field battle. I'm not going to be able to afford doing that more. Hmm. Right, okay. If I send to him up... Not Squire's will. Right, let's change focus. We'll send him up... Well, you could... You could reach that in one turn and destroy it. Which would lose me another settlement. But I would then be able to catch their army. The thing is, the AI doesn't care. If the AI can screw the player over, that is usually what the AI will do, regardless of any other factors. I could then retake it, but I'd be losing even more money per turn. Minu. It's so close to. I am just barely out of aid range. Right, we'll have to wait one more turn, then we'll push on, recapture the Sentinels, and then we'll try and hold that, I guess. Uh, we can just barely afford one more turn of that. Yeah, that won't help either. I'm just gonna have to sell even more slaves. Like, I don't have much more in the way of options here, because I've... Without the sell slave ability, I would have been so screwed ages ago, so I guess I'm happy that I have it, if nothing else. I could upgrade that for another 1,500, but it would only give me 50 bucks more, which isn't worth it. Do you have, um, post-battle loot? Control, logistics, cunning. Dibmin Makas. 
Raise taxes, maybe? Yes, raising taxes sounds like a good idea right about now. How did we do that again? Taxes, 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 taxes. Taxes, 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 taxes. Taxes? Or is that not a mechanic in this game again? Doomskull key! Wow, buildings, technology, objectives? No. Eh, never mind. Texas, indeed. I know I'm paying upkeep for the lords, but that, uh, the I'm paying upkeep for the lords so that I cannot lose my, uh, oh, is that a peace offering? I was actually, I might have considered that. Uh, treasury, yes. I'm paying upkeep for the lords because if I don't, this settlement cannot uh, hold up to an enemy army. This settlement could maybe hold up to an enemy army, but it's not by any stretch of the imagination certain. And I am dealing with two enemy armies, so I need the ability to defend multiple areas. And now they're just going to move over there and attack me over there instead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, the split focus is annoying. Okay, what's the garrison here? Pretty much the same. So he might be able to hold them off. Let's reclaim the sentinels then. Jesus. Why, they are literally bleeding me dry economically, which I suppose is uh, well done. I can't afford that. I cannot afford that in the slightest. I could... Well, I'm paying 250 for him, which is not the worst part. I could abolish him now, because I do have both approaches sort of defended. Sort of. Very sort of. The issue is if I want a garrison, I do have to upgrade that. Because they can go through this terrain, and I kind of can't. So they've got one, two, and they're working on a third army. It'd be brilliant if they could uh, return back and attack me. That'd be exceptionally good. That would give me a little bit extra increase. Recruitment cost, control. Not really anything overly beneficial. Okay, let's spend it so I can get the garrison back up again. That'll be done in three turns. Ouch. I don't want to sit here for three turns. Alright, let's get this guy back over here again. Do, 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 do. I might be able to get a trade agreement with these guys. I should try that out, because I do have better relationship with them now. The main issue here isn't even the, uh, the uh, opposition. It is the fact that they can move their armies through these guy, this guy's terrain. And I can't, unless I want to start insulting them and getting, you know, worse relationships with them, which would be really, really kind of terrible. And they are actually just going to sit their armies up there. Which is awful. Okay, let's see if I can get a deal with them, because if I could... Oof. Lock. You're not particularly Echo likely. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yep, yeah, no, because minus 19. And this entire... Entire diplomacy system is nothing but... Uh, one pluses and minuses. Yep, yeah, nope. Yep, yeah, nope. There's, uh, there's no real option there. 
I could move into their territory, but it would just piss them off even more. Now, on the bright side, if they do continue to sit there, they will also continue to accumulate attrition. You failed, failed. And I can't reach that. So let's do a move away, and we'll keep an eye on them. We'll keep this guy here for the time being. And if they begin moving towards it, then I'm just going to have to wait them out until I can fortify both areas. And then I'm going to have to push into them. A legion point gain. Yes, that. Whatever that is. And once that is upgraded, which it is, that also should give me a much bigger garrison, which it does. Which probably means I don't need you anymore. Right, okay. That will stabilize things. Okay. Uh, no. Again, like, I just need to get both areas fortified, then I can push in. This isn't a difficult war to win, necessarily. It is just one that needs to be won slowly. Uh, Max Kessler says, Really good to hear that you're going to give the Russo-Japanese war some love. God knows I could use it. Yeah, I haven't seen it done much. Let's just put it like that. Okay, they're going to keep all of their armies over there. That's very good. That's very good, in fact. I don't mind at all. Right, we switching those over. You join back up with him. All right. I do need to figure out where the taxation system was again. Uh, income. Taxation. Where the hell is it? I know it. It was. At the very least, you can turn it off. I know that much. Recruit lords. Collect income. There you go. Yes. The game still doesn't have an actual taxation system like the good old video games, but it at least has the ability to turn on and off taxation. So, something. Alright. Uh, I would love to begin upgrading things, but I uh, can't really afford that right now. And I really do need a mine, because I got a little bit over eager and I bought this thing, which I can't really actually feed. Uh, Noah R says, hey Arch, what's your review for the Chaos Dwarf good faction? Um, the Chaos Dwarves themselves feel very powerful. Uh, the Hobgoblins are okay, if very squishy. The Orc Laborers and Goblin Laborers are pretty useless, as far as I can tell. Uh, this starting position is fairly tough, because you are surrounded by aggressive neighbors, so you can get attacked from any, every direction. You don't really have any natural choke points. But, you know, a little bit of a challenge is hardly a bad thing. Get you back into the army. Okay, right, good. They're being a bit more cooperative now. Right, they've moved both their armies over here. That is much better. In fact, that makes me tempted to move him back again, too. I know, I might, you must be getting sick of moving back and forth. I understand, I understand. But trust me, it's necessary, okay? It, it has to happen. Right, mine is 198. Um, they might attack Crookback Mountain, which would be mildly annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. I would like to get a mine up and running, but it costs too much money, and I can't really sell any more laborers, can I? So I've got 75 points, so I can get another seat. So you would want to go for this, so you would need... I'm presuming the guy with the most seats gets the benefit? So I want to continue dedicating to this. 15% after winning a battle. That's hardly a maze of balls. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this one instead. Because uh, getting random bonus nicety doodle battles is uh, kind of kawaii. How am I enjoying the Chaos Dwarves? Uh, pretty good so far. I don't mind this starting position. It's actually rather difficult, which is nice. But I will also say that, God, if RNG wants to, oh, you could be boned real quick. If the elves declare war on me now, my ass 
Grass. My ass, tremendous amounts of grass. All right, so we've lost... We've lost our eyes on one of their armies. Which makes me tempted to leave something back in the Sentinels. Hmm, leave back or double back? We're gonna play it offensive. Because if they're not going for that, which I hope they're not, then I can probably finally stamp them out, which would be very, very nice. Alright, Envoy to the Conclave. Diplomatic relations, very, very nice. Casually captured post-battle, that would be very nice too. That would cost me 25 derpy points, which I'm entirely fine with. Lord Recruit and ranks. Ranculis. Now that'll give me a bit more relations. So that'll become four. Okay, that might get me some treaties, which would be nice. Do I want to declare war on them? I kinda do, but no, 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 no. Chaos Dwarves should stick together. Chaos Dwarves are not the backstabby kind. They're not scathing, goddammit. If a Chaos Dwarf can have a friend, then he will have a friend, goddammit. Ooh, lots of cute little buildings. Wow, lots of buildings, Jesus. Uh, yeah, hero recruit rank. Donation. Donation battle. Okay, well, that's one way to get money, I guess. Which one of these give me the ranged hero? Because I need him. Demon Smith Sorcerer. Uh, that one. Okay, I need that one. That one is an absolute must-have. Probably gonna tear, tear this down and exchange it and place that in one of the smaller buildings then. Oh, no. All right, come on, Skaven, attack me or something, or reveal yourself, or send both armies against me. That would be the best of all, please, both armies. If I could just kill all of you, that would be very, very beneficial for me. That would suck if everyone bullies you off the map in ten rounds. Yes, it would. Uh, the Thunderguts just got, oof, yep. See, this is getting dangerous. Uh, because I've currently got Imric to my south. Greatest of the dragon princes. Yeah, I need to. I, 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 I need to hurry up and deal with the Skaven. I really need to hurry up and deal with the Skaven. Okay, so I can go to Mount Silverspear this turn. Uh, I can reach that, but I can't kill it. Would I like to risk... Oh, 27%. No, I'm... I'm not tossing the dice on a 26% chance. That ain't happening. So we're gonna go for Mount Silversmith. Which... The game told me I could reach. Maybe, sort of. Okay, well. I'll just sit here, I guess, then. I don't know where their other army is, which has me more than a little worried. I have so much armament now. Maybe, maybe we do do that caravan thing, because I do need my money. Oh, I really do need me money. All right, where are you going to go? We're going to need to get money. So we're going to, we've got 900, 2000, that would be great. We're going to send them off. And that'll take four turns. All right, cool. I do like this caravan stuff, but obviously then that can potentially get intercepted by enemies too, which is quite interesting. I like it. It's a cool mechanic. Uh, do I plan to continue the Horus Heresy series? Oh, okay. An ambush. Very well. Um, not immediately. I have no immediate plans for it. That doesn't mean that I won't do it in the future, but it's not a uh, immediate priority. Oof, that's going to be both armies, isn't it? All right, this is going to be derpy. I'm probably going to be outnumbered about 2 to 1. Uh, and with the ambush, that means a lot of my ranged units are not going to be in a good position. Hmm. Dum, dum, dum. All right. 
Pause video game. Oh, it doesn't use my usual hotkeys. That's annoying. All right, so we've got the Allied army over there, which, yep, that is indeed both their armies. Oof, nasty, nasty, very nasty. But, well, that's what happens when you're fighting the Skaven, as there's really no way to avoid getting ambushed. A minute 43. All right, rattling guns are already shooting me, unfortunate. Uh, I might want to just bomb that. I don't have the bomb ability. Ah, maybe it's only for offensive battles. Which would make a certain amount of sense. Minus 30%. Jesus, that's harsh. Okay. Um, right, where do we begin? Rat Ogres, Skaven Slinger, Storm Vermin. Well, definitely not that. Death Runners, Wolf Rats, and Slingers. Okay. Well, they can hurt the Rat Ogres a bit. So we'll try and go with that to begin with. I would like to get at those rattling guns. But being attacked from the rear is going to make that a wee bit difficult. Right, you can probably deal with two units of clan rats. Probably. Uh, you're going to have to try and deal with the rat ogres. You two are going to go over there. Uh, Alright, I'll form those up. Let's see. And what are you going to shoot? It'd be great if I could kill their general. There he is. Okay, I need to try and get over to him. Toot sweet. Hmm, none of these range units are going to be in a good position to do much of use, I'm afraid. I could maybe get a shot off here. We'll just have to try and get them into a position where they can least return fire against uh, some of them. Clan rats with shields, right. We'll do it on slow time to begin with. Alright, you guys. Uh, Wolf rats. Okay, you shoot the rat ogres. This is going to get awfully messy, awfully quickly. Okay, you're already shooting the boss guy, which is fine. Alright, sneaky lads. Alright, they're going to go after my cavalry. Okay, interesting. I guess they are anti-large or something, aren't they? Okay. Oh, God, that unit was murdered, like, in two seconds. Not ideal. All right. I don't really want to get into a protracted fight with those things, so maybe I disengage. I'm going to take extra casualties from doing so, which I don't like. All right. Let's get him into the middle of things. Cast a morale debuff. And where's the leader? That's oh, an assassin. I don't know if I want to fight that in melee, but... Already, my little stupid-ass uh, dudes are fleeing, because they're not very brave, are they? They're really, really not very brave. Right. I'm doing pretty well against the rat ogres. Reasonably well, at least. Chaos Dwarves are doing all right. The, these guys are doing terribly, and I'm being absolutely murdered by those... Uh, ah, yep, they just butchered me. Okay, I really want to get to those things. Okay. Will you just disengage? All right, some of them... Yeah, the, the, these are the ones that are going to kill me, because I didn't get to them soon enough. Should have prioritized those a lot earlier. Okay, that will get rid of one unit. All 
Hmm, I don't know if I'll be able to stand up to the next army because I'm not going to be able to rally in time. Okay, we really need to try and get some of them routed. Yeah, back in there, dumbasses. Unfortunately, my dudes are routing faster than the Skaven are, which is a bit of a problem. Large problem, in fact. Yep, even my dwarves are getting absolutely ass murdered. Ah, well, this is frustrating, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Okay, I'll be able to deal with that part of the army. Uh, uh, my ticking damage is doing pretty well against these guys. But here comes another entire army plus its heroes. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. Mm, try to escape with what you can. That's about my only option here. Seriously. I guess that button doesn't work. Good. Wonderful. Yeah, there's no way. There is absolutely no way. Well, I can kill a lot of their initial army, but that's about it. Right. Mm. Mm, I don't have enough of a core of dwarves to really rally around. These guys are pretty much already routed. Yep, we'll just try to get some of them out. Which they refuse to do, of course, because the game does not recognize basic goddamn input. The square? You mean that square? You mean the same square where the enemy arrived from? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a... Oh, so they've changed that. You need to... Okay. Well, in that case, the, the game was over before it started, wasn't it? It's like, oh, retreat to the square where the enemy's reinforcements are arriving. Okay. I see. A well-programmed battle indeed. Yeah, that was, uh, that was no goddamn chance. None whatsoever. Very, very annoying. But that was 5,000 versus 1,000 in an ambush battle. Yep. Uh, oh, and they they get to yeah they get to ambush you forever and ever with uh, with no 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 malices so yay ah fun and engaging gameplay uh, convoy encountered the ambush sounds supposed to be no I the battle increase during time fire the battle uh, avoid I guess. Well, that was indeed fun and engaging. Very, very, very fun and engaging. You know what, video game? I'm just gonna reload. I am feeling no problems reloading now. <laughs> like, yes, it's a hard starting position. I don't care. Oh god, wait. It's, um, you can... Do I have the safe stance? Because there was a stance where you could not get ambushed, was it? Or did they remove that? Uh, William Sword says, Hey Arch, would you recommend getting Chaos Wolf DLC now, or wait for a major sale to get it? I would always recommend get it, waiting for a sale to get uh, any DLC of uh, Total War, honestly. Is there a safe stance? No, there isn't. Uh, raiding? No. Encamp? Ambush defense chance? No, that only increases defense chance. So yes, they did indeed remove the uh, the safe stance. Okay, well that's annoying and mildly infuriating. So that loads the last turn, so I need to reload the turn before that. Fine.
Yep, ambush defense. Oh, I am entirely fine with saves coming in a game like this. Like, you're already surrounded by enemies. Enemies that literally cannot be detected. Enemies that have twice your amount of money. Yeah, no, I am perfectly fine with saves coming in this. Like, saves coming in something like Medieval, I would consider to be less interesting. Because Medieval is a far less, well, ridiculous game in that regard. Ace Bad Company 31 says, Hey Hutch, a big fan for years now. Have you heard of the game Dawn of Man? If not, I highly recommend it. Love you, man. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Dawn of Man. Let me Google it real quick. It does ring a bell. Survival City Bill. Oh yeah, this one. Yes, no, I, I remember seeing this one. It's been released quite a while ago. Uh, Survival City Builder in the Stone Age. This is a cute little concept. Uzi. Yeah. That is a neat little concept. Maybe, maybe. I might give that a little bit of a look. I'm just finished with Shadow Empires recently, so I will have a little bit more time, if nothing else. Alright, so I've got to use the encamp stance, which means I move half of my movement distance and then I can encamp. Okay, well, fair enough. Roots! Oh, I can't move into the deck. Stroll. Yay. Awamra. Even in a straight up battle, hmm, I'm not even sure I can beat them because there's 5,000 of them. But I'll certainly have a lot more of a chance. I definitely do need a lot more warriors, though, because they feel like one of the uh, better units I have. Infernal Guard? I don't ever like those. Fireglaves. I didn't really like the Fireglaves either, but they are a ranged unit, if nothing else, and a decently snipey one, too. I prefer blunderbusses, uh, but do I? I do get one of these units before needing to upgrade, I'm presuming. Ambush defense at 75, yep. No, I'm pretty sure there there was a safe stance at some point where you could move and not be ambushed. At least I think so. Ah, that was where the second army was hiding. Okay. Well, I'm tempted to try and... Malfunction! What are your odds for blocking it? 36. I guess just... He's up. Really not good enough, is it? Now, potentially, their both armies could be up there, which would be a two versus one scenario, uh, plus needing to deal with the garrison. Which would suck. In an open field battle, I would at least have a chance, though. Uh, yep, yep, they've got both their armies sitting right on top of that. Yeah, let's not. That would be, that would be rather stupid. Okay. In Garis. Alright, if you're gonna camp muy hard, which I suppose I understand why you would want to, then I will need to try and bring up some reinforcements of my own. At least some reinforcements would be nice. Technology. Uh, oh yeah, just one more turn on that. Lizardmen have that stance? Okay, that makes sense. Blunderbussy is the plural of blunderbuss. <sighs> of course. Doomless. Hmm. Mino. Oh, luckily, I wasn't in the settlement. Right, can I get any more units? I can, but I can't actually afford any more units. Not really. But 
if they're both gonna sit there, well, I'm gonna have to fight both armies and the garrison, which uh, the garrison is a lot, apparently. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve units. Okay, so I'll be fighting three enemy stacks. Oh boy. All right, three enemy stacks, mostly in melee, so I'll want something can fight decently in melee. Probably Hobgoblin Cutthroats, then. Yep, let's at least get one more unit of it before I uh, I try that fight. Piercing shot. It would be very nice if I could actually assassinate some of their leaders, after all. Let's definitely start the working on upgrading our Hobgoblins. God, again, if the if the High Elves declare war on me, I am just GG'd right there. I'm not going to stand a, a chance. As we continue to fortifies. The Bull Centaurs do pack a punch and they can stay in the fight. That's good. I just need more me and more warriors, really. I need more uh, tough units that can stay, stay in the battle. I am gonna go bankrupt. Like I don't have the money to fight this faction. They're, they are on one settlement, and they have three times my unit number, which is rather lovely. Is there anything I can do to... Yes, I can start taxing this settlement again, which I'm gonna have to do. That'll keep me from going bankrupt next turn, at least. Uh, though it won't save me the turn after that. Hmm. Yeah, because I've got to keep both of them in encampment, encampment starts. Otherwise, they'll simply ambush the one and annihilate it. And again, that'll pretty much be it. Right, next turn. When does that caravan arrive? Because God help me, I need the money. I don't think I can sell any... Nope, I've got all the slaves I can possibly sell. I have already sold them. I might just have to suck up a turn or two of uh, negative income with the attrition that goes with it, which will not be fun. Alright, well it's gonna be a big old battle here, which will determine the fate of my little Chaos Dwarf Empire. Think the side again. So they need to be in reinforced distance. And off we go. Right. Settlement garrison. Oh god, did the other one move out? Well, part of me is happy for that. Another part of me expects to lose a settlement again next turn. <laughs> It might be a blessing in disguise. Now, if I can manage to get most of them fighting against... Oh, by the way, uh, that's something too. They have completely removed settlement battles again. Which is a little bit annoying, because the settlement battles weren't good in the way they were. But at least they were settlement battles, you know? It, there was at least a mechanic for settlement battles, whereas now, again, we just don't have a mechanic for settlement battles, which is... Like, it's, it's the classic creative, um, creative assembly thing these days, where if a mechanic is not great, then okay, fix that mechanic. Don't remove that mechanic, just make it better, you know? Right, so the majority of them are going to be focused around this flanking area right here. Which is kind of okay, because that means I can accept the brunt of them on my Chaos Dwarves, which might actually be able to survive taking the brunt of the fight. Whereas my derpy little Hobgoblins and uh, little Hobgoblin Sneaky Yitz are going to have a considerably harder time. I'm tempted to maybe... 
Maybe I could get them all to come up here. That would be even better. My reinforcements will come in from here. Yes. That would be even better, but it does risk my reinforcements. Risk my reinforcements a lot. But does the AI know that? I wouldn't be surprised if the AI did not know that, so let's see. Let's see if maybe the AI can be enticed to come up the hill, shall we? That would also presumably give me the opportunity to shoot a bit over my dudes here. Although not very well, not unless I put them at the bottom of the thing. And we'll try to get them to blob up on my front line. And the rest of you too. And you too. You get to be on the front line with your fellow gun gun wielders. Hmm, they will get some cover in that forest there. And you get to be out there. Put you on four, actually, so I don't confuse you with everybody else. Alright, let's bunch you up a pinch more. And then have you guys on the flank. Oh, are they going to be really stupid? I think they might be. Okay, well, if you're going to give me the time to bring in my reinforcements, I certainly don't mind. In fact, thank you very much, Mr. Fluffy Skaven. Highly advantageous. Dog? What are you, who are you calling a dog? They're proud, they're proud wolves, I'll have you know. They're not measly dogs. Flea-ridden dogs? Jesus, they're wolves. Big wolves. Goblin wolves. Dire wolves. Angry wolves. They deserve love and respect. They're certainly not to be spoken down to by some goddamn hobgoblin. Alright. Let's see how good the charge bonus on the hobgoblins are. Wait, hold on. Now you can shoot again. Uh, well, it's not great, but not awful either. What? Wait, assassin? I thought. Clan rats! Oh, yeah, of course, they've got the spawn free units ability thing, yes. Need to remember to watch out for that. Turn off skirmish. Good job. Now get the hell out of there. Ooh, wolf rats. Okay. Hmm. The wolf rats are pretty annoying, because they're going to be able to chase me down a fair bit. And I don't want to get tied up fighting them either, but if I can get just a little bit of distance, then I should be able to turn around and screw them over rather viciously. Come on. Break, 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 break. There you are. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, darn. Well, that was an enormous waste of ammunition. Alright, the skirmishing phase is coming to an end, and my reinforcements are on the field as well. So let's try and get them over here. On the double, if you please. Disengage, retards. Again, this, uh, this is the complaint I make every time, time I play this game, but god, it so badly needs a just follow orders button. Like, you've been given an instruction, do it! It's like, no! Just, like, you are literally wolf riders. You can leave whenever you want to. You have the speed to do so, so do Oh, 
Good job, little blunderbusses. All right. Is that the zappy zap thing? Yep, it is. Okay, we'll try and get them to move, but I think that thing hits so fast that they're not really going to have an opportunity to dodge. Well, we dodged a little bit of it. All right, if I issue the order many enough times, then sooner or later, the opposition, my own units in this case, might eventually elect to listen to me. That is my theory, and I will cling to it till the day I die. Okay, let's get you guys behind a little bit of cover there. Oh, cover. Get you behind the covering of some friendly units, at least. Right. You and you get over there in the midst of it. Where your AoE dot ability will be very, very, very beneficial. Okay. I can dedicate you to fighting over there. Ranged units. You can start taking on the enemy's ranged units. Alright, do I want to flank all the way around with these two? I think I might. Since they've given me the opportunity to do so, I think I shall elect to take it. Gotta get you and your little AoE dot thing right into the middle of everything. This thing is just gonna suck, and there's nothing I can really do about it. I wish there was a... There was some sort of a counter spell mechanic in the game where you could, you know, use power dice or some equivalent mechanic to protect yourself against enemy spells. Because you really do feel somewhat helpless when it's just like, yep. Attack, 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 attack. Right, I'm gonna need to disengage this because this part of the front line is going to just get absolutely broken apart. We're gonna cast that. Right, you guys are gonna have to get in there and pretend to be melee fighters again, I'm afraid. Right, you guys are gonna go on quite the little epic flank march. Now, there were some clan rats over here. So I don't know quite where I've gone to. Oh, I forgot about you. You need to get up there and fight too. Alrighty then. Uh, magic. Magic seems useful. Let's use some of it. I don't know if these guys can actually fight in melee, but they've got giant melee looking weapons, so I'm kind of assuming that they might be able to... Okay, hurry up, boys. We're gonna need those reinforcements sooner rather than later. Hmm. No, 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 not yet. A little bit further. All right. The morale breaky effects are being very, very useful. Now, keep marching, dumbasses. March over there. There. You are indeed difficult, little bastards, aren't you? Right. I can disengage these two, throw those in. Toss those in. Toss that in. Yep, that's going to need some reinforcements immediately. <sighs> You just, just walk over there! I, I, okay, the map is probably smaller than it looks like, and that's why they just can't go over around here, because if they could flank around there, they could start blasting them in the flank, but they don't seem to be particularly interested in doing that for some reason. Alright, you guys, get in there. You lads, start dealing with the Night Runner Slingers and keep them busy. Are they on skirmish again? Oh, god damn it! I do hate that ability so much. I think you could, I need to find the option to turn it off again. Because it's such a useless ability. Most of the time, they don't even actually skirmish. Just an actual goddamn waste. All of you in deep? Yes, you are. Nice. Okay. 
Uh, I can't reach. Put it over there instead. Alright, can you even hold out for long enough for this to matter? I'm not entirely sure. Right, the flank attack. Well, it's broken one of them. Cast that. Begin shooting. Don't get in the way. There you go. There you go. Much better, much better. Also, an attack everything in front of you button is something else I would really like. There we are. Much better, much better. Much, much, much better. Make sure you're chasing down as much of the little bastards as possible. As this time, chasing them do does indeed matter. Probably not going to be able to intercept those. Definitely not going to be able to intercept those. Alright. Much, 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 much better. Go for the juicy ones. Go for the juicy, juicy ones. Kill, kill. Many, many kill, kill. I do miss the old running down system, where just the cavalry would just run them down. They wouldn't bother fighting them or swinging at them, they'd just run them down. And they would continue to chase them, too, which is one of those modern Total War things where randomly Eunice will be like, mm, Nah, don't feel like it anymore. We, uh, we think we're actually just going to chill here for a little bit, because, you know, you gotta give the uh, enemy a little chance to retreat, at least. That was actually a reason was given back in Medieval Total War 2, why the AI was uh, so bad at chasing down units, was because the designers were like, we actually made it like that on purpose, because if you could chase down the entire enemy army every single solitary time, then very soon there'd be no point in playing the game anymore because they wouldn't have any armies. Which kind of makes sense, and also sort of doesn't make sense, to the point where I'm pretty sure it was probably just an excuse for why they didn't make their... AI work properly all the way back then. Because you can still pretty much chase all of them down, and they still basically don't get any armies back, so, yeah. Alright, good enough. A whole ten minutes battle. That's pretty long for Total War 1. Move and attack things in range? Yes, chat. Like, that is what I want so desperately. Because when you're in situations like these, when your units will just randomly stop and wait, a just push forward button would be incredibly nice. There we go. And that will buy me a few more turns of money as well. Alright, where's the default skirmish mode? No. Projectile trails, I don't like them. But they do let you see what stuff is happening, so... And they're not as offensive as they usually are. And, oh, no, they're not in guard mode, by the way, chat. Because you were mentioning that might be it. No, uh, they're not. They're... it's it's off. Uh, but they still just kind of stop pursuing after a certain period of time. That's just something they do. And I don't even know why. But they do. Right, so you are probably going to go for the closest settlement, which is going to be maybe that one, maybe that one. So we're going to bring this guy back at least for a potential intercept. In fact, can we march you? Uh, yes, we can, and we will, because he can't catch you this turn, no matter what. All righty then. Uh... I'm still losing money, but I am losing significantly less money than I was, and that is, uh, good. Alright, let's get another one of these up, uh, because that'll stem the bleed, at least for now. And once I've got this place under control, which I do... 
both places are not actually as stable as I hoped they would be, but, you know, they're becoming sort of pseudo-stable. I might want to get that. Um, I'm quite far away from it, though, so maybe not. I'm kind of tempted to destroy this building, because the armaments have become less useful again. But then again, I really also do want them, and I do finally have a building that actually produces raw materials in decent quantities. Right, speaking of, uh, have I got the thing with these guys yet? Uh, well, it's improving. Can I get a non-aggression pack? No. But it is improving. It's heading towards five, which is, you know, good by Chaos Dwarf standards, I suppose. Uh, Mike Merchant says, Hey Arch, during your Diablo 4 stream, when you were talking about necromancy and its applications, it reminds me of a discussion thread I saw talking about using necromancy to build a computer using zombies as logic gates. Yeah, sure, you could do that. I mean, all you need to do with a logic gate, Karagaz Gold just imploded, apparently, that's unfortunate, uh, is give them a thing to do, and then it just does that thing. Like, that's all the logic gate does. It does a thing when prompted to do a thing. Nice and simple. There's no reason why you couldn't use a zombie with, uh, you know, rudimentary intelligence to do that. Like, uh, you know, uh, open this place if received signal, and that signal will just be the zombie doing a thing and so on. Open only if signal and this signal is achieved, etc, etc. It'd be fairly easy, actually. Reduce rations! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, that. Absolutely that. Immediately that. All right, I've lost sight of that army. Um, it might have attacked these guys. In which case, it's probably going to be dead. Uh, did I get a... Um, did I get a event that they were dead? No, so they're still alive. So they're still a threat. Okay. Uh, well, get in there for now. Just to keep you out of harm's way, immediate harm's way, anyways. I know the settlement is full of plague, but, you know, you're just going to have to deal with that part of it. Unyielding command, leadership aura size. That'd be kind of nice. Spell of resistance, missile resistant, cinder breath. Ooh, now that I want. Now that I really want. Session tyrant. Survivalist. I kind of want to give him that because I feel like this guy, well, he's, he maybe shouldn't be like in combat, but due to his uh, dot thing, you definitely want him really close to the combat. Hellhammer, Flames of Arzog. All right, we're probably going to continue getting him more spells for now. Uh, Curse of Hushut, what did that do? Uh, cause him a single combat. Yes, assassination spells. Assassination spells are always great. Now, as for you, uh, Cinder Blast, extra power, passive ability, always ready, reload time, restock. Cinder Blast, because a little bit of uh, AoE damage is hardly a bad thing. And for you, Dark Subjugation. And you, well, you're more of a... Ooh, oh god, that's really good! God, I didn't see that, that's incredible! Yeah, no, that's that's lovely. That's really, really good. We're definitely going to want that. All units in army. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, this is cool. This this makes the hobgoblins way, way, way more valid. And I do like me, me hobgoblins. Okay, we just need to locate and kill that last Skaven army. I, just, I hope it's not heading over here because that would be really, really annoying. Be incredibly infuriating, in fact. All right, we're down to a measly minus two a turn, which is uh, pretty good by my current standards. I'm gonna have to prepare for more wars. Uh, I'm particularly nervous about Imrik. Really nervous about Imrik, in fact. And I really don't feel like I'm ready to fight Imrik. Hmm. Uh, can I 
Can I see... Like, where that convoy... Is? Uh Wait, is he done? Like is has he has he finished his thing? How do I tell? Hmm. Okay, so I have to buy them every time. But, no, I still got this guy. Active convoy zero. Okay, so I presume he did reach his target then. Okay, I, I would presume. Okay. In which case, I'm just gonna sell more armament because Jesus Christ do I need the money. So, four turns. Okay. That makes sense. All right, more warriors. I wish I could afford more warriors. I can't, so we're we're not going to worry about that just yet. I uh, fifty percent average efficiency. Okay, so I got four hundred laborers here. This requires four hundred laborers, but this probably requires laborers too. No. Accept new laborers, yes. Because I've got plenty here. In fact, I've got too many here. Workload. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, no, no. There's zero laborers there. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, that's 400 laborers. I've got 400 laborers. No, I have zero laborers. Okie dokie. That makes more sense. Right, Crookback Mountain. Um, Do I want to keep that? I kind of don't. I kind of want to put that somewhere else. Alright, alright, alright. Who's my greatest immediate threat? Like, who do I need with? The deed need to deal with. Uh, well, okay. Uh, where are you? Blicht Tensracht. Clan Worms. I don't know, but down here, I would guess. Uh, okay. God, more Skaven, huh? Skaven are a rather annoying opponent. A uh, convoy encounter, Hobgoblin Tribute. An eager tribe of half-brained hobgoblins have appeared from seemingly nowhere, intending to offer their services. Hushet only knows where they were hiding. Despite their frankly annoying enthusiasm, their blades could come in handy. Or perhaps you could make use of this blessing they keep rambling on about. Uh, well, I mean, I'm already full of dudes, so numbers. Okay, that gives me a, if not great, then at the very least, sort of pseudo kind of healthy income, which is nice. Alright, so I'm presuming they're going to be down here. That seems like the reasonable assumption to make, which means that they could come through here and possibly attack Darkhold, which would be really goddamn annoying. Uh, but also in that case, not something I could really avoid, so let's worry about that when I have to worry about that. Right, do I want to start advancing on them now, or do I want to see if I can find them first? Probably want to start advancing right away, honestly, at least with the main army. Would I like to try and get more dudes first? I kinda do. I really, really want some more guys, but I can't afford it. <laughs> I really genuinely just can't afford it. Okay, let's get back into um, encampment stance then, I suppose. Anu! Very 
and begin the long walk to the Black Iron Mines, where we presume that our enemy is totally, maybe, kinda, possibly hiding. And now that should block that approach, so maybe I move down here. They could also sweep around here. Hmm. Go back home, or wait? Go back home, or wait? Go back home, or wait? This is the question that has plagued our kind for millennia. Well, wait. I need to deal with the incredibly poor order anyways. Speaking of incredibly poor order, is there any way I could begin to fix that again? Harbour Guild, Hotter Furnaces. From refineries, live to work, work to live. That's true. Sorcery. Uh, there! That one, that one, definitely that one. It'll cost me a seat on the council, but I am more than happy to pay that for two plus uh, order, since order is shit everywhere, as it turns out. Alright, I've got loads of armaments right now, and I need money way more. The caravan will be on its trip for three more turns. So, just enter. Uh, oh, you again. Um, <laughs> I mean, yes, but I love that without a single settlement, with having only had one settlement for all this time, with two full armies, they still have enough money to just throw 3,500 cash at me. I love it. Like, money is just not a resource that the AI engages with at all. <laughs> like, and to be fair, it's always been like this in Total War, right? Everyone remembers Shogun 2, you know, the single settlements with three stacks that you needed to do the ridiculous battles against. Yep. Uh, minus 100 cargo for a black dragon. Wow. Okay. Um... Uh, so is is this are, are is is this permanent? Like I don't know if because I've bought this guy. He's in my service now. So if I get the black dragon, um, do I always have the black dragon? Because if I always have the black dragon, then then this is worth. But if I don't have the black dragon and it's just for this trip, then it's definitely not worth. Hmm. I'm gonna... Ugh, it's a black dragon, though. It's so cute. Yes. Yes, we'll keep it. Because, I mean, that's, that's great if you can get that. Oh, yes, no. Chad is saying yes as well. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. good. That makes me very happy. Very happy indeed. Well, uh, with that unexpected windfall, I guess we've got some money. Um, I would like to get the the thing that gives me the, the hero, because that hero is stupendously important. But, Jesus, I need cash. <laughs> I, I, need, I, I need that cash so bad. So we're going to go with donation battle for now. Against my better judgment. Um, Elsie Serana. Wow. 110 Canadian dollars. Wow. Jesus, dude. That's incredibly generous. Thank you so much. Uh, say, hey, Arch. I feel like being crazy. He has 100 dollars. That is crazy. Thank you again. Um, to see if you will play Spaceborn 2 early access on Steam. Spaceborn 2. All right. Let me Google that real quick. Space Born 2. Uh, embark on a journey to greatness. Get ready for adrenaline fueled battles and chance to claim your place in the galaxy. Your ship. What even is this? Well, this looks kind of cool. Okay. It looks weird. <laughs> it looks oddly arcadey. Hmm. 
All right, well, I mean, you, you've just given me a hundred bucks. For a hundred bucks, you can ask me to do most things. So, yep, I'll, um, I'll pick it up and I'll play it a little bit and maybe I'll do like a uh, thing of it. I'll just note that down, Spaceborn 2 somewhere. Just so I don't forget about it. Uh, I can be peer pressured into most things. Just to, just be aware, horror games is going to cost you extra. Because I am an enormous pussy and I'll probably scream a lot. And uh, I'll feel humiliated and sad. Yep. <coughs> I've noted that down. I'll uh, give a look at it. Uh, and do a thing on it. Space 1, 2. There we are. And save. Right, where was I? Uh, right, I was b building a economy building, despite my better judgement. That was what I was doing, yes. Do I want to upgrade these? I mean, I've got 4,000 in the bank now. But I also really kind of want to get a second army up and running. Awanrag. Am I paying... Am I paying extra for them? Regular cost 300. Yes, I am. Okay, why am I paying extra for them? Am I paying extra for them because I'm here? I guess, maybe? Possibly? Could be. Um, I do want a second army. Especially, god, I'm... I am so goddamn nervous for this. Because I aim, I ain't stopping this shit. Like, if I'm at war over here and these guys come knocking at my door, I am dead me too. And somehow, I doubt that negotiations are going to prove particularly fruitful. Yes. Not at all. Um, is there anybody else I could, maybe? Can I, could I tongue somebody's asshole fervently enough to have a friend somewhere? Like, even these guys don't like me very much. Uh, past tr treaties with Clan Richters. Ah, oh, come on. P treaty! It's just a peace treaty, okay? I mean, I killed them! Surely that must be we worth more than signing a peace treaty with them? Come on! Give give brother a break here, Jesus! Doomskull Key! I think we will prioritize another army. That seems most sensible uh, at the moment. Then again, how much money do I get for upgrading one of these things? Uh, how do I get? So from a base, 50 to 100. So 50 more. It's hardly a lot, is it? Um, what buildings do they unlock? Garrison outposts and strip mines. Well, I don't have really the workers to justify more strip mines, and 50 bucks is... Uh, 50 bucks is 50 bucks, but... I imagine I could get more by fighting, so that is what we are going to do. I'll just recruit two at a time, though. No reason to uh, waste more money than necessary. Signature spellcasting. Cost of spirit leech, winter magic cost, miscast base charge minus 15%. Ruinous negotiations. Uh, chaos divided. I mean, yes, because I want friends. I really badly want friends. I need more friends. I am friendless, and I wish to have friends. In my desperation, I will do anything. Uh, Mache Svek says, Hello Arch, the game won't run for me, so at least I can watch you conquer. I want to ask, what is your opinion on the upcoming Bolt Gun game, uh, Nice 90s Vibes? I haven't looked at it too much, because the whole, like, Doomer, uh, Doom Boomer shootery thing isn't really much of my style, so... I'm not gonna pay you a thousand bucks for that, eat my dick. Um... It looks neat. Like, the people I know who know something about, like, 2D boomer shootery, um, basically say that it's just 3D, but with, like, a 2D filter style of thing on it, which I don't know if is, is bad or good. Um, I mean, they, they can hardly screw it up too much. Like, it's a boomer shooter. You, you shoot things. Like, 
There's only so many ways you can truly mess that up, you would you would think. Alright, so I'll soon be in enemy territory. I really should get that building. Should I just... I'll tear this down and I'll get the building, because I need that rifleman hero to start screwing with people's movement. Alright, so if you have an army here... Would you like to attack that army? I have no info on it, and if it backstabs me, I'm probably screwed. So I don't want it to do that. Right. Well, we're gonna just begin the movement. We're gonna put some threat on them. And if I remember correctly, if they try to move past you whilst in the whole underway stance, you do have a chance to intercept them. So... We're going to hope that we get lucky and maybe we can kill ourselves an army nice and quick. That would be brilliant. How much for the um, the big building again? Uh, 2,500. Okay, so I still do have a little bit of money to go on. So let's continue recruiting here. I do like the Hobgoblin Wolf Riders. They can be used... I don't know if they're better than other units, though, but they can be used at the very least as a decent little harassment force, and they do seem to be able to beat up archers, at least. And I've got a non-too-awful front line, so let's get a couple of those for a little bit of mobility in the mix. Alright, order has stabilized... Good, good. I am getting an income here. I am. Lovely. So, somebody mentioned I could move laborers, which I probably should, because I only need like a hundred here. Uh, okay, labor economy. Yes, we do good. The chat already explained this to me. Don't worry about it. Jesus, stop. Okay, so... Uh, 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 where am I moving it? I am moving it to the Howling Wastes, aren't I? No? No other way around. Okay. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 that's still plus four. I was about to say minus four order. Jeez. That would have been awful. I'm going to pay for it. <sighs> that sucks, but it will give me more raw materials, and I do kind of need raw materials right now. Right, where's the thing? It's... It'll arrive in one turn. Lovely, that'll give me way more money. I like the caravan mechanic. It's quite cool. And it gives a little bit of a, a feeling of the Chaos Dwarves working together in a way. You know, trading materials and slaves and money and stuff. I do like that. Unfriendly. Improving. It's been improving for years now. It doesn't seem to have actually done anything, though. Jesus, please. Give me non-aggression pact. I don't want to be at war with you. I really don't. You'll kill me. I don't want to be killed. Very few people ever want to be killed. Get big cannon? I wish I could get big cannon, but my... Me economy... Oh, hello. What, what are you? I hope you're not hostile. I really hope you're not my enemy. Clan Rictus Supreme. Ah, Clan Rictus. Somehow, without a single settlement, they've managed to rebuild their entire goddamn army. How? How? Okay, well. Um, that army retreated. Okay. Not this this time. All right, well, I've got to start getting this moving over here then, because he's probably going to start raiding my ass, and I do need to deal with that. All right. Begin the long walk. But he does also have an entire stack, so i got to be recruiting while I'm moving. The Sneaky Gits did okay against the Skaven last time, so let's get another one of that. Chieftain of the Deep Warren. Ah, they must have a settlement, must they? I mean, I, I can't imagine where that would be, though. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know if there's ruins, but... 
Oh, may oh no, 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 maybe. Is that what they did? That's what they did. They... Jesus, Chaos Dwarf Allies, you suck. You really suck. How could you lose that? Are you pathetic little shits? Are you worthless assholes? Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. My my soon-to-be friends are shit at warfare. Ay, okay, well. So much for that. Okay, well, we can put push on to the black. Ugh. I'm really nervous, because they probably got two stacks too, and I'm doing this alone now. That's... That's dangerous. That is... awfully dangerous. I'm tempted to just sit my ass in the mountains here and hope to snag an army, but... Okay, that's... Uh, so, okay. Maybe they might actually be at war? They might not have this entire area? Which would mean they're quite weak. Oh, warp fire throwers. Oh, right. Don't want to get hit by that. That would be nightmarish. I'm guessing I can't uh, hope to get any kind of, you know, diplomatic. Uh... Oh, no. Lord Craventail. Lord Craventail. Oh, Witness hmm. might yes, have yes. Clan Rictus. Are you scared? Should be. I am a little bit scared. True. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, is there anyone I can trade with? I I doubt it. I very much so doubt it. Um, Clan Moors. What? What? No, probably not. Speak. Speak. Nope. Right, well, let's just hope that they don't attack me, I guess. Hmm. Thomancy. The garrison is a uh, dick all, I imagine. Yep, yep, pretty much dick all. I'm half tempted to buy a sorcerer again to defend it, but nah, it's just, it's it's 250 bucks. It's not worth it. I could, I could give up on these guys, double back and deal with them, but then this shit is just gonna fly, flood into my rear either. No, I'm just gonna focus on getting a second army up instead and try to deal with them. That's gonna be the uh, the idea. Uh, so, did the... Did that arrive? Okay, and now, so now it's gonna start walking back again. All right, so it's gonna be four more turns until I actually now get my cash, I would suppose. Okay, fair enough. That does make a certain amount of sense. Goody Lord Sander says, you know what they say, Arch, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Correct. Oh, this is a little bit of that old frustrating feel I had with Total War uh, Warhammer, though, where you feel like you're you're under such constant attack in such open areas. And you, this is why I prefer the Radius mod in this game, because in Radius, I would already have enough armies to really begin pushing in in multiple directions, or at the very least, I would have enough stuff to, you know, defend myself against the mass incursions of my enemies which are currently building a second stack on one city. Oh, Lord have mercy on my fucking butthole. Um, okay, well, they haven't attacked me, so that's good. Uh, nope, that is their... They do have two stacks. Do I just trust them? Machines and okay, so if they took that, they must be at war with these guys. That would be my my assumption. Uh, yes, they are War of Clan Richters. So I am unlikely to get backstabbed immediately. So, we'll concentrate on dealing with this clan. Because at least if we can get into the mountains, we can get some choke points up, hopefully. Where we can fortify and make some garrisons and, you know, defend. 
And in order to do that, let's take the Black Iron Mine. Uh, Stura says, I dislike the Radius mod because of the ginormous amount of extra units. See, that's why I like it, though. I like having ass tons of armies. Like, I've played Medieval Total War before. Like, I've played Rome, I've played Medieval 1, I've played Goddamn Shogun 1, I've played every game in the book. I've played the Eco Economy Hard Mode titles again and again. At this point, I just want to fight enormous battles with enormous armies. Like, that's my primary uh, interest in the game. So I like the economy mods quite a lot. That doesn't mean that everybody else has to like them, of course, but I do quite like them. Alright, you shall continue to harass the hell out of the enemy. And uh, the doggy woggies with their riders should also go over there and help out if necessary. Right, my Chaos Dwarf Warriors are getting a little bit elite now, which I quite enjoy. The terrain is broken, uh, extremely so. That doesn't mean I get an excellent firing position here, though, for my little uh, infernal guards. Presuming they just don't point their muskets into the ground and shoot and do no damage, of course, which would be sad and would make me cry just maybe a little bit. Alright, so the majority of their army are on this side, so this is the side I would want to fortify then. And we'll leave the other side up to the hobgoblins, and we'll leave them as a bit of a strategic reserve until we know where to go. Okay, you go over there, you go over there. Hobgobber, ash, 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 can't we, ash, ash. God, they can't even speak proper. It's, it's almost sad, but only almost. Gesundheit? Gesundheit to you too, Mr. Hobgoblin Archer. Now, I'd really love to be able to murder those slingers too. That'd be great. Particularly before they start murdering my archers. I imagine they're going to kind of sit right on top of their little skaven spears there though, but... Maybe not. I mean, if they're gonna just leave them behind, which they are, okay. I mean, in that case, I'll just eat them. No, 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 no. Oh, right. Keep forgetting about their free units. All right, so they're gonna send quite a few units over there. Fair enough. I'll deploy those to counter that. And I mean, this part of the front line should be able to stand up to whatever is coming at them pretty easily without too much troubles. That unit has been absolutely moited. Right, which one? That one, okay. Skaven slaves, yep, I'll just eat you too. That's not gonna be a problem. That is really not gonna be a major issue. Okay. Attack you from the rear. Squishy squashy. Nice and simple. And go over and deal with those other archers whilst these guys are doing their damn awesomest. They do not care at all about the fact that they're getting attacked like that. They just don't care. They just don't care. They're proper Chaos Dwarf Warriors. They giveth no shitteth. As they should. Right. Go and eat those. You guys can hold fire since you're mostly just hitting friendlies at this point. And you might as well get involved in some of the action over there too. I do dislike that the battles are so goddamn fast now because you don't even really feel like you get a moment to zoom in and look at stuff. 
because everything dies so incredibly quickly. And that, I believe, is probably the end for the Skaven Garrison. I much prefer the more sedate pace of uh, modern and other Total War games, where some battles can just go on for absolute ever. I fondly remember one siege in um, in Total War, Warhammer, uh, no, no, in, in Rome 2, where I think I was, um, I think I was the, 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 the silver Roman guys, the, um, you know, the, the dudes of the east that have the, the silver legion is. And I was fighting, I think, Macedon, and I was taking their capital, and they were, of course, defending it street by street. And every, like, clearing every intersection took, like, ten minutes of just constant hard street fighting. Like, that was a lot of fun. That was really, really quite cool. You don't quite get uh, batch, mat hey, batches, matches like that anymore. Uh, Elsie Serrano says, just a heads up, Spaceborne 2, it's being worked on by one dev, and he uses AI voice synthesized to voice characters. Oof. Okay, I imagine the quality of that is going to be dubious, but hey, if you're one dude working on a game, then, you know, you cut corners where you can. Ah, Seleucid. Uh, Seleucids, I think, yes. Rome 2 at launch was super fast battles. Oh god, Rome 2 at launch barely had battles. God, do you remember the, uh, the bug? Where the enemy would charge up towards you, and then right before they made contact, they would stop and turn around, and they would do that every time. Oh god, it was so bad. Like that, that game on launch was just... No, it was it was actually just unplayably awful. It was it was terrible. It was just actually terrible. Holy shit. It was painfully bad. Painfully bad. No, you failed, failed. Alright, so we've got the night goblins down here, which have completely beaten the shit out of the dwarves. Holy hell. Um I'm tempted. To set up choke points here, because if I could fortify the Black Iron Mine and Black Crag, then that would probably attract most hostile armies to those two locations, and I could just have a couple of leaders and a bunch of garrisons dudes over there and probably defend them relatively well against aggression. Even though, like, these garrison headquarters are terrible. Like, they, they just give you hobgoblins. <laughs> like, that's actually awful. Like, that's, um... Yeah, no, that's actually... That's, that's ass. That is actually completely ass. It doesn't even give you walls or anything. Wow. Uh-huh, okay. So, um, yeah, the, the Chaos Dwarves are not much of a fortifying faction, are they? Jesus. Hmm, okay. Um... Well, so much for my fortifying theory, I guess. One rug. Wind shaper. Uh. Wind shaper. Ready to de Is there any? Can I? Can I suck some cock somewhere? Some penis? Can I pet some goblin heads, Who maybe? Needs killing? Minus a hundred. <sighs> right. Unlikely, therefore, yes. Mm. <laughs> um, wow. Absolutely everybody just actually kind of hates me. That's, that's awful. No, Gracia, never wrong. Mm. Mm, indeed. Do factories have better ones? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, factory. Kills. Warriors. Yeah, yep, you're right. That is much, much, much better. Thank you for pointing that out. That is way, way, way better. 
In fact, factories in general look to be way, way better. Jesus, okay. All right, so... Derp. Okay, Black Crag is a capital, so it could be fortified a lot better. Uh, Karak Azul... I could grab that, and if I take some pit too, then I've probably dealt with much of the Skaven presence in the area. And then we'll just try to fortify that and deal with Imrik, because I need to deal with Imrik. Oh god, that's Night Goblins too, isn't it? Oh wow, if they declare war, me Misa, Misa bum hurt. Misa, Misa in a great deal of pain if that happens. Hmm. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Perhaps sharing a border with them would be uh, ill-advised. Plan scheme here is discordant. Is up crew. <sighs> oh Jesus. Well, let's just go with that original plan for now. We're going to try and fortify this. Uh, try and deal with Imrik as dealing with the Night Goblins would draw me even deeper into the World Edge Mountains and just expand my borders even further, whilst at least dealing with Imrik will give me a natural ocean border down here that I can probably fortify with only a couple of settlements. And that'll keep my north sort of pseudo safe, maybe? Then I can consider if I go left or if I go right. Right, can I claim another position? Uh, yep. Oh no, okay, so when it's... Wait, do you... Does, does everybody get the bonus? I presume so. Oh, that's very nice, okay. So these are better... Oh god. Five, wow. These are so good. Like, all of these are so good. Nice. Hmm. Do I save for one of these, or do I grab that one? I... Th I mean... There doesn't seem to be any confederation options. So, having good relationships isn't necessary necessarily that amazing but income from trade tariffs hmm or do I save spawns a temporary arm of hobgoblins when sacking enemy settlements that's pretty cool. I like that. That's awesome. It requires 300, though. Uh, maximum convoy cargo capacity, plus 10. Conclave influence, one per turn for factory settlement buildings. That's a big deal. I Maybe I want to save for that, because that would be a really big deal later on. On top of the tower... Master Confederate with... Nice! Okay. Lazar. Okay, in that case, I do want to save for that one. I'm going to try and want Expounder General, because in that case, I really want to climb this tower. And so far... These... Yeah, I'm being... I am being massively outclimbed. Like, nobody's business. I'm being outclammed like nobody's business. So, uh, settlement building nine. Cognitive influence goes through expanding your territory, raising towers, and crossing Temple of Hashut buildings. Okay, so building a greater tower gives me more. Temple of Hashut gives me more. I definitely want to try and focus on that a little bit then. What's the shine to Hashut? Fine God. Demon Smith, Iron Work, Lava Field. Hmm. I can't actually see it. Is it just the temple, maybe? No, I don't think so. Is 
Infernal Barracks. Well, that's something, I guess. Alright, well in that case, we are going to at least conquering, continue conquering stuff, because that also will give me uh, an increase. Alright, do I want to unlock anything else? I'm gonna keep saving for this for now, because I don't quite know if I want to use it for anything in particular. I half wanna... Oh, you can! Ooh, lovely! Okay, cool, so you can convert next turn, let's click... Fantastic. Okay, so you can convert them wherever. Well, that's a big deal. Yeah, you do unlock the extra output slot if you feel it, but if you, I, I need more of those points, so I'm going to surrender that to somebody else, and I'm going to save for the biggest seat that gives me more, more of it. Referring to a unique building? That makes sense. Crooked moons, their war um, fails. How very tragic of them. Gay ass dude up there. Hmm. Okay, they can't reach me this turn. Is that a full stack? Is that two full stacks? Oh, two almost full stacks. Hmm. Do I wait for them? Mostly slaves, mind you. Cinderbrage. Maybe I... Hmm, Karak, do I take Karak Azul? They can't get me this turn. So I could secure Karak Azul and then double back. Yes. I mean, that seems like the obvious choice here. And then instead of continue building this army. All right. Uh, they've got a lot of melee, so I'm going to want a lot of melee too. So let's get another hobbling covered and one... Archer, wait, nope. Move first, move first, sir. Ah, derp, of course. Idiots. Because there isn't the recruitment for those units in this goddamn area. Okay, a couple of orc laborers then as emergency forces. I do need to look over all of the stuff I have. Uh, oh! Oh, really? Oh, well, okay. Tariski. Oh, okay. Well, no then. I figured they would own this entire mountain range, but uh, no, as it turns out. Oh, all right. Okay, so maybe the original fortification plan is back on then again. All right. And I do know, Ted, I can move stuff over to this to get uh, laborers, but I don't I don't really need raw materials that badly. Right now, if anything, I'm tempted to shut down the gunsmiths, honestly. Um, but I do get a lot of arm, ar armor, ar a lot of money from selling armament, so I'm not sure about that. And we're just going to get more, uh, more laborers. In fact, are there any over here? No. So that, ta when I get laborers, I think it, it probably just sends them out everywhere, doesn't it? I mean, I don't need them over here, so I guess I could move them over, but I also don't want to really spend the money on moving them over. Eh, that's eh, a little bit of more raw materials, I guess. Right, so there's no point in making another strip mine at the moment, so we're not going to bother with that. Uh, I do want the more marble quarry at some point. But I probably just want straight cash. Mount Silver Spear is kind of exposed, though. Maybe... I don't want to turn that into a factory, because that's where my mine shaft is. Is three Hobgoblin Cotros and two Archers and a Hobgoblin Wolf Rider worth... Like, they're not going to stand up to a proper invasion anyways. Like, they're really not, so might as well just go for more money and get my income up again, since my income is still dreadful. Does Hashut's Reverence, does any of these give me conclave points? Uh, Torah Summers building, get an additional two turn, turn, turn. Yes, they do. Very nice. Very neato cheeto. Coming in your altar, influence getting turned from all sources.
Yep. Um, oh, that costs 50, though. Mmm. <sighs> no, I don't want to spend 50 on that just yet. Not yet. Alchemical remedies, ammunition, cash, hero capacity, ammunition, weapons, doctrine. All of these are pretty goddamn good. Recruitment cost, recruitment capacity. Hollow rounds, missile strength. Yep, well, we'll begin going down that, as I don't want to spend 50 Conclave influence right now. Especially as uh, I am saving for that uh, bigger seat. We don't want to do that. Hopefully. Okay, yep, they're going to go over there. That will give me a chance to intercept them. Defeat now and belong to any of the fallen enemies of Overlord Zadrak. Dripping Fangs Clan Rictus. Well, that's probably going to be difficult. Uh, switch the labor action, you say. Uh, the labor action. I don't seem to think I've seen that button. Maybe that's up here too. Labor action. Uh, well, I can do these, the labor actions. You mean these? Because I can use that, but I, I don't have enough laborers to start sacrificing, honestly, right now. I do have low order, but I have had low order since this goddamn campaign started. I am just gonna suck it up. Uh, the Chaos Undivided thing is increasing and the Skaven Corruption is decreasing, so it'll stabilize eventually, but yeah. Because I did use these a lot earlier, and they were very useful. In fact, they're the only reason why I was managed to uh, keep myself in the plus, money-wise. Uh, let's see. Ah, no, need my warp token stash. They're not gonna accept a fight. I don't think. But it does leave this army dangerously exposed, so that's a full force. If it ambushes me, it's got a lot of melee units. Against not a lot of melee units. Yeah, but I don't want to raise, though. I was like, you need to start raising. Yeah, but that's, that's a territory. That's a territory I really desperately kind of need to get money. I don't want to raise stuff. I really don't. Especially not these, because ideally I would like to keep these as bulwarks against this part of the map, and then I can go somewhere else to do stuff. Ah, four smart stance. That's right, they can't... They can't retreat in four smart stance, can they? I hope so, at least. And they can't. Very good call, chat. Oh, we're definitely gonna kill them now. Clan Worms. Now, they do have a catapult, so that means I do have to be a little bit more aggressive this time around. What are those? Oh, the little derpy uh, drilly thingies. I don't like those. They're really stupid. Well, we can try to sneak around them and maybe harass that, uh, that big throwy thing. And we will. Should I wait for reinforcements? Hmm. What's the range on that thing? A lot. I might be able to... Lots of slingers. And if they have half a brain, they'll send the slingers to counter my poor little uh, wolf riders. I'm tempted to stand back. 
Maybe get them to waste some ammunition on a hero or something. Alright, let's hold on to begin with. And see if we can tempt them into doing something nice and stupid. Let's see, is there any terrain to hide these buggers in? Is there any terrain behind them to hide these buggers in? No, it's all flat and dead. Uh, what about that? Nope. Okay. All flat and dead. All right. Well, it was an idea. It was. It was a theory. It was a possibility. And you guys too. Let's see. Okay. Who are you going to aim at? Are you going to aim at anybody? Are you going to aim it at the little skirmishes? Okay, well, they're pointing everything they've got at me. Maybe they just can't see anything else. Ha. Huh. Well, I think that officially ends my opportune chance to try and sneak around and and get it, because I ain't going to be able to get it with as much shit heading in my direction, but I can certainly skirmish with them a little bit and buy time for my reinforcements to arrive. There you go. Thigh your happy little hearts out. Ah, I keep forgetting about that goddamn ability, don't I? Right. Well, um, you know, go deal with it, I guess. He's a hero. I doubt he'll die quickly. I hope he won't die quickly. Hey, if I can deal with a clan rat spearman unit doing this, I won't be too disappointed. He's fine. He's, en he's enjoying himself, actually, if anything. Look at him. I don't know if I would fire that thing in melee like that, but yeah, he's, he's enthusiastic. You can't blame him. There we go. Now, before a ginormous hunk of molten warmstone can land on my face, let's get out of there. Yep, like I said. <laughs> Run, little hero. Run, run, run. They don't mean you well. They mean you a lot of harm, in fact. A tremendous quantity of harm. And there are my reinforcements. About... Eh, we've still got over half our ammo left. No reason to not engage in a little bit of further skirmishing, then. I know, I know. It sucks being you right now, but trust me, you're saving the rest of the army a lot of headache by taking the green goo to the face. You now, just relax. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Nice. Ooh. You know, those, those those Skavens are remarkably good at ballistics, I gotta say. They're very, very good. Stop volley firing, it's making it very difficult to dodge. Okay, the enemy's getting a bit close. Let's uh, leave. But we will set up a nice, big, fat welcoming committee for our enemies. Uh, why can't I be over there? I don't know. Oh, yes. Spawn them in the middle of the army. That will work out very well for you. Very well indeed. Oh, got about you. Move. Didn't I have... I did! Look at that! Way more of them! Oh, you little retards. Move, dumbasses! And I have more of those too. Got 
drop to go. Okay, so they're moving forward now. Which means I'm probably going to have to start actually advancing in not too long if I don't want to sit there and get bombarded with green snot. Uh, that's a remarkably brave little chieftain, I will say that much. He's got balls. Tremendous balls. Let's curse the balls. Come on, boy. You're supposed to be like the anti-hero sniper, dude. Show me what you can do. Blast him. Eh. Hardly the most impressive damage, but... Not insignificant either. Oh no, that one hit really good. Okay, that one was a lot of damage. Ah, don't care about those. I have elected to retreat. A wise move, if somewhat late. Oh. Right, it's not eating time. Okay, enough dilly dallying. Time to advance. Now, if I do that, I believe... Isn't there some way to kind of, like, make them, like, group attack? We're about to find out. Ah, uh, sneaky gets... Oop, dodge. We'll cast both of the spells on that special unit. And we'll immediately go for the catapults before they kill every last one of my beloved little dudes. I know, I know. It's a, it's a rather long run for your stunty little legs, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And when you're bombarded with my enormous warpstone things, that is the time when you've gotta do. Kill, 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 kill. Ooh, we'll fire throwers. Well, so long as you're shooting the useless things. Continuing to do a good job, even as you continue to try and dodge warp lightning. And admittedly, mostly fail. Now, that stops snot falling from the heavens, if nothing else. Poor little hobgoblins, they were sacrificial entities. And they died as such. Right, you guys can come over here now. And you deal with whatever's left of this little stupid nonsense up there. What's that? Skaven slaves. Okay. Not particularly worried. Just kill them. Okay, where are my little blunderbusses? There's the blunderbusses. Okay. Come over here. And start firing into that when you're ready. Commit to the murder, my boys. I am out of magic. That was not a lot of magic, was it? Skaven slaves successfully numbed. And I think they're probably fairly screwed over at this point. Yep, I dare say they're rather boned. Poor little blunderbusses. They never really get to do their whole flanky shooty thing, do they? It's a little tragic. 
And you guys are mostly shooting friendlies at this point, so cease. Say that was a pretty successful battle. And they've had enough. Nice and simple. Uh, Cthulhuan Ethan says Chaos Faction should have an armament mechanic, forcing them to interact with Chaos Dwarves. Slaves loot for weapons, and if they run out, unit staff gets penalties. Also, slowly uh, discover each other. Oh, they don't? Oh, I figured I figured they would already, but... Yeah. No, they should. There absolutely should be some kind of, uh, you know, work-togetherness between the Chaos Dwarves and the Chaos Warriors. Not because of ideological reasons, necessarily, as they have worshipped two very different brands of Chaos, but they have been known to work together extensively. And with the Hell Cannons, of course, the Chaos Dudes... Really, they should only have access to Hell Cannons if they pay, like, a tribute to a Chaos Faction, or a Chaos Dwarf Faction. And maybe you could also have that go both ways, so the Chaos Dwarves could also hire, like, Chaos Warriors, for example. Maybe that could even be part of the tribute. That'd be cool. Like, you have five of turns to produce a Hell Cannon, for example, and if you do, you get access to a unit of Chaos Chosen. That could be cool. Right, have we run down enough of the silly little Skaven by now? I think so. Yes, another Fyrik victory. I lost a whole 200 dudes there. <laughs> I bet you it, it is actually going to do that too. Uh, it, that is one of the weird things about Total War Warhammer 3. Or Warhammer in general. Like the... the the level for getting a good victory, like a crushing victory, is ridiculous. Oh, no. Decisive. There you go. Alright. 1,245 labor. Okay. I mean, that's incredible, and I'll take that. Hey! Look at me! I have a cow now! He's having cow! Okay, so you get, you get cow for free. Alright, I... I quite happily accept that, frankly. It's entirely fine and dandy. Uh, uh, win some magic cast. That's pretty cool. Character all the leadership. Nope, we'll just get that. Start seeing if we can't level up some of the new spells. As for you, a little bit more ammo couldn't possibly hurt. Uh, for Zufor Ratbane. Let's see... Curse. Stick em. Stick em, lads. Stick em good. Stick em till they don't even know what him. Hmm. This place is gonna be basically impossible to keep uh, stability on. Uh, I don't actually... Let's turn off the collect income for now because it's not a huge amount of income. Let's see, gold panners. So that requires raw material again. But it gives a lot of money, which is nice. Iron works. Ooh, nice. The heavy artillery. What does the iron mine give? 250 armaments per turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. But it requires 300 raw materials too, though. Oof. That's, uh, that's a lot. Um... For now, let's... Okay, so... Final decision time. So, I'm going to try and block off the north. Is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and or block, or block off the, uh, this side. With this and this. 
And then I'm gonna head south, because I'm really scared of the goddamn High Elves. I could head into the Night Goblin's territory as well, but I feel like the High Elves would attack me sooner, just because they're High Elves. So that's probably what we're gonna do. In that case, what we're going to want is a factory guardhouse right there. Oof, I'm still losing money. I like, I love the fact I've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces, and I, I can't even upkeep what the AI does on one province yet. It's, uh, it's a little bit painful, just a bit. I can seize this one as a bit of a. F oh my god, they're wiping them the hell out. Okay, well I can seize all of this as a freebie then, I guess. Okay, well that works too. That works too. That definitely works too. Uh, active convoys. Right, so the convoy returned? I feel like I never got the money, though. Am I, did I just miss it? I must have just missed getting the money, I guess. Eh, presumably. Okay. Well, let's send off another convoy. Uh, 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 how did I do this again? Army panel? New? No, 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 I want that guy. Oh no, he's still returning to the capital, two turns. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he still hasn't gotten that. Fair enough. Two more turns, then he'll be back home again. I only traded a hundred goods. I don't think that was all the goods. Sort of cane claimed? Okay. I'm starting to kick shit off with the elves. Hmm. Well, we killed one of their armies, so they can't have that much shit around. Can they? Let's hope not. Do I have the war push in there too? Do I double back? I probably probably just want to play it safe here. Because I killed one army, that doesn't mean that they can't have another one. So, play it safe, make sure they're all dead. And next turn I should get however much money was left from the thing. Uh, can I see that incidentally? I don't think so. Because I sent them off with like 400, I think, armament. And I traded away 100, so there still should be some left, I think. But then again, 100 cargo is a little bit of a, like a... Like, what, what does that mean kind of thing. Recruit rank. Ceaseless march. That would be nice. That would actually be quite nice. Well, we're going to have hollow rounds first. Okay, uh, 107, so I've got five more turns until I can get the big uh, big chair. The blunderbusses are OP, says uh, Lar Larsili. I believe you. They do seem pretty good. I imagine a huge number of them would really rip to pieces the enemy's uh, front line as they come charging towards you. Your command of Tordos are quantified into a magic item this turn. Giant wolf. Very well. Okay, is he still... Did he arrive this turn? Yes, okay, so he's back. 827. I don't even remember how much I had. Right, well... We'll send him back out again. Uh, the Haunted Forest, maybe? How many turns is that? Active convoys, you know, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I guess? That will give me 3,000. That'll give me 4,000, but it's stupid far away. 4,000, but also stupid far away. 3,000. Hmm. 
So I don't know how dangerous... So the overall threat level per node is like what happens, but since it's per node, I'm guessing there's a lot more shit up this direction. A lot more shit up this direction. Okay, eight turns, four turns. Well, I'd rather have 3,004 turns than 4,008 turns, so let's send them off that direction, shall we? That'll also let us try and figure out if they get the money when they arrive or if they get the money when they, uh, like, return. Right, let's begin the siege. It is the correct type of rat. Lovely. I was a pinch worried there that they would be yet another rat warren, but no, that's the right one. And you get in there too. This should be a rather one-sided fight. In fact, I think we can probably just auto-resolve that one nice and easy. And we'll occupy it as a factory. Nice. I'm pinch worried that this one might get ambushed now. Ah, he got himself a giant wolf. Well, let's continue. Miller defense. They do need melee risk effects, but I think we're just going to go for damage first, because a dead enemy can't punch you in the face. Simple as. It's uh, pretty basic logic, frankly. Alright, we're losing order here again, because we have too many goddamn slaves. We have too many slaves here. We have, we have too many slaves absolutely everywhere. Alright, we'll sacrifice some here for control, and we'll sacrifice some here for cash. I do like the slave mechanic. The slave mechanic is pretty cool. Oh, no, no, that's the thing. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not a special building. It's sacrifice. You can sacrifice slave to gain conclave stuff. Okay, that's nice. That makes sense. All right, what can we do with that money? Um, raw materials. So raw materials are used primarily for upgrading that. They're used not for that. They're used not for that. Alright, that needs 3,500. Jesus, that's a lot. So I want more of that. That would give me another 100 gold. But it costs 500 raw resources. Nope. Um, if anything, I would maybe want 7,000. Jesus. I would more want more mines, if anything. Uh, screw that. I don't need that one. Um, gold mine? I, I, I'm not going to say no to a gold mine. I'm definitely not going to say no to a gold mine. Doomless. And if I'm super lucky, they'll now ask me for a uh, peace treaty. That's right, still not quite enough. Because I'll take it. If they give me a peace treaty now, I will take that and I will just leave Black Crag and Black Iron Mine to be fortified. And... Oh, wait, no. Hmm. They could be up there too. They could be up there, too. Let's see if I can find them. Hornet prophet. Okay, so they got their ass pounded. You come to us. Yes, yes. They would give me a peace treaty. What you bought a deal? But I'd want some money, too, though. You know, I'm going to want some cash out of this, of course, yes. How about you give me, uh, like, lots of money? 2,000? And they'd, they'd take that? And a non-aggression treaty? Yep, I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. Perfect. Okay, so our bulwark over here in the mountains is complete for the time being. 
Which means I can begin moving back and dealing with these goddamn rat furry bastards too, and maybe even trying to save my friend. Or <sighs> wait just until they last their lose their last building and then save my friend. You know. It's a bit, you know, late perhaps, but they don't need to know that. Also, I need a hero. Uh Oh god damn it. Zero out of one? Really? Aw. I hmm. Uh let's see. Iron level or level. Another falling buildings to increase the maximum amount of iron level or level. Okay. Iron level or level. Cigarette. Patrol route. Ash level. Ah, okay, so I need the next one there to unlock another one for 5,000 bucks. Oof, that's gonna take a while, but okay, 5,000 bucks it is. Could I? Because I tried to get as much money as I could, but they couldn't give me any more, and I didn't see anything more interesting. The uh, uh, dwarf, uh, the chaos dwarf language is a variant on the uh, the word dwarf language. So they do have uh, certain similar oh, words, God. but it is not the same language. Uh, for the person who asked that in chat. All right, let's begin our long walk back. Boom. Tempted to stay in Blackcrag for a couple of turns just to. You know, build up order a little bit here. Because that order is going to take a very long time to build up again. Yeah, just in case I get randomly attacked by something stupid rocking out of the mountains. Just in case. And we're gonna save for the next hero guy, which is gonna be a while. It's, it's gonna happen through fighting rather than saving in all due likelihood, but you know. Uh, the items you get from convoys away are more important than money or labor. Drakenhof has an amazing item as well as Black Crag. That might very well be so, but right now I am poor as shit. <laughs> so I'm going to need the cash to begin with. And then I'll worry about the items once I'm no longer incredibly poor. That's, that'll be the, uh, the general idea. All right. Well, you can actually mark all the way back to Crookback Mountain then. Black Crag. Uh, now, oof, do I? Mm, oh, eesh, oof. So it would take. It would it would take like sixty turns for that investment to pay itself back, which is a long time, because it's it's only like it's only in a different an additional hundred and fifty, which isn't a lot. Uh, it'll take so long to pay itself back. So incredibly long. So actually, genuinely incredibly long. Hmm. But it is a constant income. And it would pay for me placing a, a general over here to make these two areas a bit more solid. A hard choice. Flame of Azorg. Let's see. I do like this, by the way. A little uh, preview window. Okay, so that's a giant big F-off explosion. Nice. And that's a line nuke. Okay. Um, give me the line nuke. Line nukes are usually better. Because you can get so so ridiculously many kills with those. Extra powder. Don't know what that does, but it sounds cool. Hmm. What else could I get? That too generates so much money, but it eats raw materials, which I have frighteningly little of. 
spend money to make money, that is true. But with only 150 increase, it's going to take... No, it was like, um, what, 30 turns? It's a lot of turns. But I'll probably gain more money by the with the war over here. Eh, we'll go for it. Why not? We'll go for it. And I do have enough slaves now to sell some labor. Um, in fact, I think I'll do that. And we can't sell any more here, so we're just going to keep that up and running, because I do want the raw material output now. In fact, preemptively, let's send uh, a few more over there. Right. That gives me one point away from getting that damn seat I want. One bloody point. One bloody point. Okay. Well, we will wait. One bloody point, then. So, three, tyrannical decree. That's too expensive right now. Wartime economy. I don't want to spend that either now. That one, I guess. Uh, well, that's probably not good. Uh, wait, it is? I don't know about that, Queek. I think you're lying to me, but... I'll take it. Sure. Yeah, no, that makes my flank actually pretty damn secure for the time being. Huh. Oh, well, that's unusual. <laughs> then Queek's like, can we be friends? Uh, sure. If you want to. Why not? Right, well, that uh, that actually does secure my ass quite a oh, no. bit, actually. Hmm, I could get that one too now. Battles fought here will be unwalled settlements, but added... Wait, where for adds defense spell? Battles for adds defenses to the settlement. Battles fought here will be unwalled settlement battles. What? So does it add walls? I'm pretty confused. Now, can I get a good chair now? I can. Conclave gain. Yes. Give seat. Isandomidash. Hmm. Well, the only threatening thing over here then is going to be the night goblins, which... Minu. As plenty threatening. But we're gonna hope that they've got better things to do right about now than uh, screw me over. So, which one would I go for? We would probably go for the capital with the best army, wouldn't we? Garister. Boom, boom, boom. More stuff. Dodge. Alright, with an income of 332, I should at the very least have enough to make up for it. Uh, 500. That gives me 200 more raw materials, but costs 1,500 raw materials. And requires a bit more slaves. A doubling in raw materials is not a bad idea, especially as I am kind of planning or trying to get the bigger, badder towers. As I do want that conclave influence. It's a lot of resources, though. A lot of resources. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. Hmm. Minus 13. Ouchies. Do I get a overseer? Oh, I can't afford one. Do I get an overseer? I probably should. Because that will allow me to keep taxing it. Skaven corruption is really nasty. Um, well, it's going to take a couple of turns, but I'll probably get an overseer over there. Yes. 
and I should be getting an injection of cash very soon with the uh, convoy arriving, I think. Could make Black Crag a tower? Um, could you? It gave me the option to convert it into a factory. I know that. Can I? Let me check. Uh, yep, you can make it a tower. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll wait until that's built, just to make sure that it doesn't, like, derp it or something. But that is probably worth it, yes. Okay, you... You gotta fin finish the rest of your army before you're ready. And I should probably get rid of this. Okay, 4,200. That is more than enough for a leader. And yes, that's the money from the convoy then. In fact, at that point, I should probably set up a second convoy. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Wait for the research, because the research gives me like three bonus levels on the convoy thing. So why would we get that now? That would be that would be silly. It'd be foolish, in fact. Retarded. But I will get a lord over here, just... So somebody can defend it. Uh, needful. Drop chance. Hmm. Overseer or sorcerer? I feel like the sorcerer would be the better choice. Research rate? Yeah, that one. Haunted bounty. As for the Rosar, instead the products of an Imperial's Labs are brought a unique price from among these whispering trees. Added unit Grave Guard. What? Was that a result from the from the convoy? Oh, it must have been, because yeah, no, he got he got a unit of Grave Guards. Oh. Neat. That's cool. Weird, but cool. Right, your job will be to be uh, really mean and oppressive to the bad people of this province. So, we want ruthless discipline right here. There, and that'll give us positive order eventually, at some point, probably, likely. Maybe. Alright. Now I'm getting 14 per turn, which is quite nice. Right, did I get that research? Uh, no. Because they're still... Yes, they're still level 1. Okay, wait another turn. Uh, factories appear to have better garrisons, yes. Hi, are you... Yeah, you're declaring war on me. Yep, I... I sort of figured that was gonna happen. I wish you would have waited a couple more turns till I've gotten into a defensive position, but if you insist. At least they didn't get to attack one of my settlements immediately, but... Yeah, that is that is a double, double stack, and, uh... I mean, I ain't getting there in time, so... We'll have to deal with that uh, another way. Okay. What do we do? Do we gang up and try and crush the armies, or do we go for Tower of Gorgos straight up? Um, it would allow them to attack the Black Fortress. The Black Fortress has a garrison of what? Enough to maybe stop one army, definitely not enough to stop two armies. So we're probably gonna go straight for them. So they can't catch me even if I do a march move here, so that is exactly what we're going to do. Well, turns out I started doubling back just in time. And that's going to lose me like another 300 income or so, but I should have enough in the bank to survive for a little while. Right, uh, let me guess. Mili, 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 mili. Uh, actually, an ass load of Skaven Slingers, too. A lot of Skaven Slingers. Uh, maybe another Wolf Rider, then. Yeah, one more of each of these. 
All right. Well, that settlement is lost. <laughs> that is, is, there ain't no saving that, but uh, we can probably save everything else with a little bit of luck. Uh, okay, overseer, maximum cargo capacity. I mean, that's Nito Cheeto. Tower patrols, buildings, upkeeping tower patrols, industrial revolution, hotter furnaces. Income from refinery buildings and armament output. That's probably the best one then. Do we want to get that next then? Because that would put us on a pretty severe clock. But if we can fight and win against the Skaven, we are going to get a lot more money out of that. Covert. Let's go for another caravan, shall we? Let's go for another caravan. Right. Uh, 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 for labor, that gives me labor. Uh, that gives raw materials for cash. That gives cash. That gives labor. That gives a lot of cash. Hmm. That might be a dangerous journey, and it's a ten-turn journey as well. That might not be particularly safe. Hmm. We'll we'll do one of these to begin with to uh, you know get his get his feet wet, shall we say? Two thousand five hundred catch. That'll buy me another ten turns at the very least, so that's worth it. I don't like using up all of my armaments to do this, but... Speaking of... Alright, so let's... Unlock at least... Uh, all I've already... The only thing I've got is the warriors, isn't it? Yes, I will unlock infernal guards soon-ish. So let's get another warrior and let's get another infernal guard one. I don't think I want to do any... They're really good, but... Oh, God, they're so expensive. Like, eight a turn. Like, that's really, really bad. But then again, Frenzy. Oof. Nah, I... I mean... Mm, mm, I'm getting 95, though. I do have enough, though. I could, though. Mm, I could, though. I really could, though. Yeah, send over another bunch of laborers there. I should also actually finally check through my goddamn inventory because I've got so much random shit just piled up now. Uh, I've probably got something cool. Uh, Wailing banner. Okay, that's on somebody else. Okay. Armor. You don't have any armor. So armor of Bazarak the Cruel. 20 armor, minus 5 speed, spell resistance. Armor 5, physical resistance, ward save. That one. Absolutely that one. Uh, do you have a talisman? You do not. Melee attack. Armor. Fortune. Talisman. 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 Ah, I've only got one talisman. Spell resistance. Yeah. Seeing as this guy's going to be a little bit of an assassin, probably, that's not a bad idea. Ancillaries. Uh, I've used all of them. Okay. Uh, eh, eh, next guy on the list. What about you? This, like, I'm presuming there's probably weapons that help you, too. Like, armor, ward save, fire resistance, ward save, tricks to helmet. That's probably not bad for him. Weapon, sort of strife, melee damage, not exactly necessary. Uh, nah, nothing else particularly useful. Shield of Batolos, 510. I'd rather give you warding, maybe? Armor fortune, ward save? But f missile resistances will be really useful for you, so maybe you just keep that for now. Speaking of, uh, I'm actually going to sell some of these, because these aren't that useful. Causes moderate fire damage. Nah. I don't like the scrolls. The scrolls are dumb. We'll keep Sword of Strife. Melee attack. That one's really good. Fences Blade. That one's alright, but... Oh, we'll salvage those. 
Nice. Right, hopefully they'll attack that and then force march over here or something equally stupid. A new fuse item mechanic. Is that a thing too now? Jesus, okay. Decisive defeat. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> um, I, I feel like the AI does more casualties here than the me half the time. Then again, there are slaves. Maybe I could kill something. Nah, I can't be bothered. Okay, so one of the armies retreated, the other one is advancing. But I don't want to fuse. Now, let me let's look at it though. Okay, uh, where was the button? It was just like, clicking on. No. Yeah. Alright. Let's check if you do these two, uh. Well, you're gonna have the same category items, I guess. So, I could fuse those two? No. Those two? Yes. Okay. So, you can fuse the same rarity and the same type. Alright. Mm, I could do these two then. What happens then? Scroll of Leeching. Well, Hex of the Winds. Ability scroll of Hex of the Winds. Ability Hex of the Winds. Power recharge. That doesn't sound very fun. Eh, I guess you can have it. There you go. You have a scroll of the leeching now. Enjoy. Whatever the hell that is. Alright, so he's going to go back to reinforce, presumably, which means he could sneak around the flank. Don't want to bother about that. Zephor could probably take on one army. But I'm not confident that Razoroth can take on two armies. Maybe. I mean, a lot of this is slaves, so maybe. It's also the fact that I need to do so via the stupid secure thing. Hmm. Do I advance no, with both Never or only one? No, you fail, failed. I'm not convinced he can take on the capital, especially not with a defensive army. So let's double up on our forces in this direction. And uh, they did only raise it, which is actually kind of annoying because that means they can attack it again and probably do even more gay shit to it, which is terrible. Awful, in fact. Oh, goddammit, right. Because we're in a place with Skaven corruption, which means the Skaven corruption will never go away. Which means the Black Iron Mines will never not be rebellious. Oof. That's just infuriating. I'm half tempted to abandon it. In fact, I think I'm going to do just that. Because it'll never be compliant like this. I would have to garrison it in the long term. And even then, I probably would not be able to get much money out of it. And since I have a non-aggression pact with these guys, F it. We're just going to defend Blackfrag. And pray, essentially. Now, I'm never going to lose any corruption here either, which is equally ass. Um, is there any way to get around that, though? I'll turn it into a tower. Sell it. Got a treaty. Hmm. Could sell it. Yeah, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Let's see if uh, our good friend, Queek Headtaker, might be willing to give us something for it. No furs. No deal unless profit for me, me. Uh, Black Iron Mine. Okay, that's just trade. Don't work against. Can I offer it? Uh, payment? Nope. Don't work against. Declare what against.
Hmm, I think I can only offer to trade it, which is not going to benefit me because they're not going to do it, not in a million years. Unless, can I offer it now? Can I now just, like, click it? Aha, okay. Uh, Black Iron Mine is valued at anything? Trade agreement. Uh, balance scales, balance scales. Minus 6.5, okay. So, an entire settlement is not good enough for a trade agreement. Okay, right. Hmm. Good old-fashioned Creative Assembly AI. So this would benefit us both. Don't want to. Um, there's... Yeah, there's no balance offer because I literally cannot give them enough stuff to even get a trade agreement. Like, it's, it's so dumb, they'd get 400 money from this, and they're like, No! That would, that would benefit us far too much. It's like, okay, thanks. So I can't get a trade agreement for it. It's worth 9.8. Um, would you give me anything? You'd give me 2,800 money. I mean... It's better than nothing, and I mean, I won't be able to hold on to this place anyway. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, a one-time purchase. Not, not the greatest of trades that I've ever experienced, but it's something. Let's see. Okay, so they still have a settlement. I'm presuming maybe they're at peace with them now? Yes, yes they are, because they don't have the little cross swords anymore. Okay. Oof. This convoy is entering into what we might call dangerous goddamn territory now, isn't it? Uh, yeah. That convoy might never return home ever again. That might be 750 bucks completely and utterly wasted. Very likely, in fact. Right, let's upgrade Darkhold with the money we got. Or do we? It's a lot of my cash gone. No, let's save it, because I'm going to probably start running out of money in this ward anyways. And I'll do a likelihood. I am enjoying it so far, yes, uh, Emil. Thank you very much for gifting it to me. It's not bad. They have added a lot of mechanics, which is neat. Like, oh, the, the key things that have always annoyed me are still here, and they still annoy me. Like the fact that battles last for like two seconds. Oh, Jesus, they have three stacks now. Nasty little bastards. Nasty, nasty, nasty little bastards. No need my warp token stash. Oh, well, there they go. And they were killed by. Oh, the prick. Oh, god damn it. Why him? I don't want to fight Grimgor. <sighs> All right. No point. <laughs> no point indeed, Scape. And mission aborted. Fighting for a friend. They're all that dead. Is not a that is a good reason to not fight for a friend, indeed. You know, all of your friends being actually dead is a fantastic that reason is. to not fight for them anymore. <laughs> all right. Well, I can reach the settlement, and they can hardly ambush me whilst I'm inside of it. So I might as well take the extra take movement the benefit. Um, can any of them reach me? Yeah, that one can reach me, so... But I can take that army, but then they can reach me over there. Hmm. 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 Do Twenty-five percent ambush defense chance. It's something. It's not much, but it's something. Not wait to scat. No, God, if I'm really lucky, they'll attack me. That'd be so amazing. I wish they would. I wish I could piss them off or something, insult them, yell at them, something, anything to make them attack me. That'd be great. But not likely. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue to be cautious for a little while longer. All right, still corruption there, but at least that corruption is decreasing. All right, that removes the thing, but it does give me access to everything else. 
Right, I must have some reduction building thing here. Ziggurat Tenement. Here are recruit rank. I mean, that's cute, but not quite what I need right now. Oh, of course, it did. Well, at least it gave me my money back, at least. That's something, I guess. Tribute collector. Hmm. Do none of these give me, like, order at all? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, sucks. That one give me... No, it's just one... Same one order. It does give me another point of influence, which is nice. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this switch was worth it. Because it reset it to levels 1. I figured it might, but I was kind of hoping it wouldn't. It turns out that hope is a poor substitute for reality. Now, that would give me one control. The issue is the Skaven Corruption is minus 10. So it's like almost impossible for me to hold this area. Even though the only Chaos Skaven Corruption would be coming from, what, Karak Dawn? Hmm. Control plus three. Even that won't be enough. Jesus. Ah, yeah, no, it, did it give me my money back? Because it's it's level two, level one. Yeah, that's the problem. That was the issue there. I should be going for level three then, but... Ah, God. Well, it'll provide me with a better outpost, I guess. Because if I go for level three, then I can get the anti-corruption thingy, and that will, you know, start shorting it up a little bit. It's not a good solution necessarily, but it is a solution. Right. Is this safe enough to for me to want to repair it? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Karum. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if it's good, but it is cute. Okay, well, let's hope that we can actually hold this god-awful place for once, then. Tower of Zar. So nobody's claimed that. Interesting. Hmm. I think I, I have one trade treaty, don't I? Yes. Which I'm getting, like, 80 from, which is not exactly a lot, but it's something. My relations with these guys are improving, but I can't... I can trade with them, minus 16. Because minus 20. So like, yes, minus 20 to earning money. Uh, okay. Um, diplomatic treaty, minus 16. Okay. Uh, neutral. Yeah, because other... Why? Oh, God. I, I will always hate the idea of aversion. It's like 15. Like, we just don't want to earn money. Like, like, we, we feel really strongly about the idea that we don't want to trade with anyone, ever. Yep, yeah, Skaven pussied off. Non, not too surprising, but very disappointing, if nothing else. Oh god, I hate this area here. Under city discovered, eh? Hmm. How do I deal with that? Can I kill it? Can I murder it? Oh. Well, easy enough, I guess. <laughs> Just kill him like that. I hate this area because this allows them to play a ring around the rosy with me so bad because they have more armies and so they can go. Uh, it's awful. Right, well, we'll put pressure on them. We'll advance to the Tower of Gorgoth. Hoping that that will force them to get on the defensive. That is the hope. That is the desire. It's not Grimgoth himself, is it? No, okay. Hmm. 
I don't know if I want to risk a war with Grimgoth or a single settlement. Seems a little bit dangerous. Um, an output plus 10. We'll definitely take that. Uh, what about my convoys? One more turn until he's back. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Unassigned skill points. Many? Where? 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 Well, I'll pay more attention next time, I guess. Uh, he what says, Welcome to Bridge God, Worshipper. Oh, no, it says, It's member now. Oh, you're a member now. This is good. This means you have access to exclusive live streams that I'll do on occasion, too. Those are very beneficial because I play ponies in those. You know, everybody likes ponies. Kind of sad you can't send an army to clear down the cities. Yep, I definitely know what you mean. That would be so much cooler if you'd have to, like, kind of reverse siege your city to deal with it. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool, in fact. That'd be super cool, in fact. Alright, so I'm two turns away from that, no matter what I do. So... I might as well gather up a little bit. I feel like he's saying gormless every time. Are like, you gormless idiot? Don't you dare restart this war, you piece of shit. Not now, I'm literally just rebuilding, holy shit. Leave me alone for at least three more turns. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything for him to defend himself with, so if I get attacked over here, then, well, that's all my plans of uh, a flank guard amounted to, I suppose. Which will be tragic, but hardly unexpected. Alright, you. What can I get you to do, then? I wouldn't mind an ass load of laborers. I would not mind. That's 13 turns. Ouch. That is uh, that is a while. That is that is really quite a while. That is a ridiculous amount of time actually. Um 400 for 650 laborers. Maybe. I do but I'm about to get a lot more laborers, I suspect. Hmm. Maybe it's time to go on a proper expedition, you know? I kind of want more raw materials, but I also really don't want to pay for it because I don't have any money. Yeah, I think it's time to go to the Silver Tower to try and look for the big payday. Go, my boy. Go, go. Doomless. Right. Do I want that seat? Why would I want that seat? Is there any reason why I would want that seat? Because diplomatic relations is cute. And it would maybe get me some trade. Or I could save. What, what would I get if I saved? If I saved... Uh, army ability bombardment, that's quite nice. Unit capacity one every four turns randomly chosen melee infantry on missile. That's really good. Um, that one's pretty good too. Summon unit. Hmm. Lord ability bombardment. Like, all of these are pretty good. I do... Uh... Diplomatic relations. Well, it would give me more trade treaties, maybe, because plus 20 relations isn't actually that much. Because, again, that barely even makes up for aversion, does it? Whereas this, like, that's an army ability. Like, that would be really nice. I could consider stealing a throne, too. I mean, I would like that throne. I would really like that throne. But I'm imagining that'll piss them off as well. 
but a hundred more materials per turn plus five percent would be a big deal. Um, it is possible to engage in diplomacy with the the dwarves, but um, they've got a minus one hundred to you know dealing with you. So it's the standard thing where you get uh, there. You go. There you go. Minus. 100 and then everything else so you can Do still deal with them presence. which i kind of dislike like you should not be able to at all like straight up impossible but you can it's just very difficult due to the arbitrary things that the ai throws on top of you and it's like no 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 minus uh, 15 because uh nobody likes each other okay Black 1917 says, Hey, Lance Christ, our Lord and Savior. Praise be the Chaos Dwarves and to Lord Mobility Scooter. Praise be to Lord Mobility Scooter, the greatest of all scooter carrying, uh, scooter driving individuals in all of the world. It's the same thing with, um, I really don't think the dwarves should have Fashion any opportunity to engage in anything with, um, the undead, for example, because to them, the Please idea of bringing back the dead is, like, the worst kind of heresy like it is it is beyond terrible you know they really should not be able to do it inspiring inferno activity okay well that's cute but it doesn't really help me much um increase mobility straight up nice and simple that's what i need that's what i want Come here, Tower of Gorgoth, you piece of shit. Is there an army here? Uh, doesn't look like it. So their army must have left. Do I know where? No. Okay. It's a little unnerving. Well, let's squeeze out as much uh, experience as we can, I guess. Kill, kill. Alright, what do we turn this into then? Um, I do need more raw materials. Kind of badly. I could make it a greater settlement, but it costs a lot of influence. Is nice that an option, though? I could sack it, but honestly, that reward is paltry. I could raise it, but honestly, again, that reward is paltry. So, outpost it is, then. All right, so that turns it into an overseer camp, which unlocks the mining thingity bobbies. A volcanic deposit. Ooh, nice. Now that one we definitely want. Level three. Okay, yeah, that's a big deal. That's four hundred metal per turn. Now I mean, it requires quite a lot of servants too, like not a lot of workers, but that's a lot. That is a lot, 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 lot. Well, let's begin with the money pit, which seems to be the building we build in every single goddamn settlement, because it's money! Oh, wait. Is that Kevin? Ah, goddammit. They're heading over there, aren't they? Okay. Well, that's very annoying, because I don't think any of these places will be able to stand up to a full stack. Hmm. I don't think so. I could probably beat this with this army. Maybe, I'm not sure. He's level 16, Jesus Christ. But I could maybe beat him with this army. Hmm. Well, oh, let's get more Curse of Hushards. Self-assistance. I mean, these guys are getting some decent stats now. 50, 42, 31. Not sneaky enough. They're becoming basically comparable to goddamn Stormvermen in stats, which is pretty goddamn good. Their armor is still somewhat awful, but still. One unbarras. Ooh, Ugla Khan's Wolf Boys. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I love Ugla Khan and his Wolf Boys. Uh, it's expensive, though. Hmm. 
because it'd be nice if I could take that out. Because if I can take that out, they'll have to fuck off again. But they still have... I haven't killed a single oh, army, so they still have Marshall. two stacks plus a third, like, half stack Makazina somewhere. Right. Let's get Ogla Khan and his wolf boys. That'll probably give me a good enough army to beat him. Especially if I manage to bleed him at least a little bit on the defense. Okay, well, so far they haven't attacked me, so that's nice. Maybe they'll give me my three turns? That'd be very kind of them. Be very, uh, very charitable. Of course you are, you piece of shit. Okay, well... I might be able to bleed them at least, but... I don't think we're winning this. Ah, oh, I do hate this. See, th again, this is why I prefer Radius, because it's more fighting the war and less chasing down random stacks of enemies that just run around the entire goddamn map. All right, so since uh, since settlement battles are a complete thing of the past, uh, our best bet is to find a sort of pseudo-limiting area uh, like this and hold up on it and hope for the best, basically. Okay, so the Chaos Dwarves will be at least a decent bulwark. Uh, these will be able to fight for a little bit, some damage, and these will be... Useless. Completely and utterly useless. Completely and utterly useless. And I expect them to break basically immediately. Hello. 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 Mm, the issue is the rat ogres. They're probably going to be fast enough to intercept me. It would be a big score if I could kill the rattling gunners, though. That really would be a big score. That would make this entire garrison being slaughtered actually sort of kind of worth it. Uh, come on, little wolf riders. Surely you can beat a rattling gun team. Surely. 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 Yep, looks like they can beat them. Nice. Uh, they're gonna flank me, are they? Oh, that's g Oh, goddammit. Right. Pretty goddamn unit spawn bullshit nonsense. I don't have anything to kill the rat ogres. Um, do you have some kind of anti-large? No, no you don't. I mean, they have spears, so I was thinking maybe, but no, no. Now, is that another one? Yep. Okay, let's see. Maybe, since they sent them out so far ahead, maybe I can just... Surround them and kill a unit of rat ogres. That would be very valuable. Okay, you guys try and keep those busy. I know, I know. Tall fucking order. Okay, we're at least going to be able to get the rat or uh, rattling gunners, which is very nice. Come on, kill all of them. Kill all of them. All of them. I think, I think I'll get the Rat Ogres too. Brilliant. I doubt I'll be able to get the second unit. But honestly, this is, this defense has already probably paid for itself. Okay, let's not let them escape if at all possible. Fight on, my brave little retards. Fight on. Oh, god damn it. They're gonna be at the 
Yeah, they're gonna. No, no, maybe not. No. Oh, they rallied. Okay, that's annoying. Like most of the unit is is fleeing, while some of the unit is down here. Like right. That makes them very hard to shoot. I'm afraid. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna start wavering awfully quick here. Yep, the <laughs> goblins. <laughs> They barely even stood and fought for like two seconds before fleeing. Oh, great. Mm, yeah, I'm not be gonna be able to get that unit, I don't think. Or maybe I am? They're taking a lot of damage right now. Maybe, maybe. If I can get like one or two more salvos off against them, maybe. Come on. Come on. No, don't don't get caught by those. Don't get caught by those goddamn stupid. I hate the free units, by the way. They, the Skaven should not have free units. They should instead have units that work like um, the dogs from Total War, where you have, like, an expendable part of the units that can just rush out and do stuff. And then next time you got the unit, it'll have, re, uh, like, restocked the dogs. That's how they should do them. Because that's what a truly expendable unit is. Because in a game where you only have 20 slots, there is no such thing as an expendable unit. It doesn't exist. Like bringing a Skaven Slave, for example, is you bringing an objectively inferior unit. You're just not going to do it. It's dumb. It's stupid. But if you had dogs, well, those are truly expendable. And giving the enemy just free units that can spawn anywhere on the map, like, that's just retarded. I mean, come on. Like, the Skaven don't even do that on the on the actual, like, game. Like, the, their ability to travel through the Underway is done on a large scale. Small-scale infiltration is only done by teams like specialists, like Gutter Runners, for example. And even then, they're not using the Underway, they're just really, really good at hiding and infiltrating. There we go. Well... Killing the rattling guns are is a pretty big deal, so I'm not too displeased by that, but that was a pretty foregone conclusion. I know. Expendable in this game means that the unit's routing does not lower leadership of the rest of the units, says Roman Panzer Tessudo. I know that, but that's not what expendable means, because an expendable unit is a unit you don't mind losing. And again, when you only have 20 units, there is no unit you mind, don't mind use, uh, uh, using, using, losing! There you go. It's just, it's not a very good mechanic. And they have the mechanic that it would work perfectly well to fix it instead. Ah, oh, god, I'm an, okay, well. I can't really take even I less order, so uh, that's not an option. I not wait to scat. Gorm left. Right. Okay, so we know where one army. Oh, God damn it! Really? Okay. Can I get to him via the underway? Sorta. In which case, I will. Right now, I'm gonna have to try and chase down this army. So its normal move is up till there. So even if I move there, it shouldn't be able to ambush me, unless there's two armies over there. In which case, I'm kind of screwed. But I also really don't want to be moving slowly, because if I start moving slowly, he's just going to go invisible again, and I'm not going to be able to spot him. I'll use the underway. That'll give me some ambush defense, at least. Alright, and... Magical Reserve would probably be the best option to go for that. As I engage in just a game of fucking whack-a-mole with the enemy. And that is all that this game is at this point. Whack-a-mole. Moving around the map, hoping to catch the enemy before they attack your settlements consistently. It's not tremendously fun, I will agree. I will say. Alright, I kind of want to go for the communal altar because that's massive, but it eats 50 of my influence, which is a lot, which is a real lot. 
Especially as I'm about to maybe be able to unlock or to steal this one, which would be pretty goddamn cool. Everything is starting to cost a lot of things now. Non-ideal. Non-ideal. Well, casual theater replenishment is always indeed. good, so we'll pick that one. Less units for upkeep purposes. Yeah, that is true. But even then, it's a wasted slot. Like, unless you really are completely screwed over for money, you would always go for another unit. Uh, convoy encounter, unceasing march. Uh, lots of stuff. Ushabiti with great bows, tomb scorpion, skill chance, tomb guards. Uh, cargo, fight battle and gain treasure. The Tomb Scorpion. I don't know if I have... Well, no, I've got a dragon now. Soul Grinder? Jesus, where did I find that? Sure, let's go for it. I mean, uh, Decisive Victory. Yeah, that's fucking Soul Grinder, okay. Hum. Casualties low. I mean, those are Tomb Guard. I don't know if I'm confident. Eh, yeah, well, let's sort of resolve it. Cowardly, I know, but I don't know how the convoys work, so I don't know if they'll... You know, regain stuff. I have no actual idea. Like, I hope they will, because if they don't, then fighting this was a terrible idea. How the hell did you let the Usha beat with Grey catch 102 casualties? Okay, I apparently should have fought this regardless. Huh. Well, we'll get the money. Because if they replenish, then that's great. If they don't, then that was a tremendous mistake, and I should never have done it. You know, uh, nice and simple. It's one or, one or the other. <laughs> Uh, okay. God, he's gonna start raiding more shit. Love it. Okay. In raid stance, I should be able to attack them regardless, but I am just the tiniest bit away. Of course I am. Okay, I'll just get on top of them, at least. That way, if they try to move through the underway, at least I'll have a chance to intercept. Um, I can take that back immediately. Or do I try to stay on them? I can't... I don't... I can't quite tell. No, I can't reach his in one turn. Okay. In that case, we'll stay on them. I do hate this part of the game. It's just like, oh... Battles would have been fun, but no, you, you get to chase units that move at the exact same speed or faster than you across the map. Joy. Absolute goddamn joy. I still can't get that either because it's 5,000 gold and I've been just completely starved for cash this entire time. Uh, yep. Oh, I mean, I, I, I can't do shit. Alright, well. Hopefully that'll slow them down enough for me to catch them, at least. It's like, it's really super unfun gameplay. Like, it is the least fun thing I could possibly imagine to just play fucking catch-up with armies like this. Um, Ogres... Uh, I can't afford that now. It is hardcore anti-fun gameplay, in my opinion. Oh, I can't, I can't reach them, can I? Like this is also why that one mod that makes that increases and de decreases unit movements in your territory is an absolute must-have mod. Playing this game without this mod is awful, absolutely awful. It's like because I, I can't catch them. Oh god, can I? Please, please, please. Kiranbas. Fucking please, Jesus Christ. Oh god, thank you. Alright, I can catch one of their armies. I did! I've This guy here, 
the ha this guy has a dude with the maximum increase campaign movement speed. And even then, he can barely catch up to an enemy army. Channel magic. Hmm, maybe? Well, that didn't help at all. I'm pretty sure whenever you click that, it always gets worse. Not to mention, too, it's like, okay, there is a way to get around this. Okay, sure, there's always going to be a way to get around anything. That doesn't mean it's not an awful goddamn mechanic. If a part of your game is chase random enemies around the map until you get lucky, or until you get the correct upgrades, it's not fun gameplay. Like, the uh, overmap simulation of Total War Warhammer 3 has always been kind of ass. It's, it's, it is vastly inferior to all of the other games, in my opinion. Like, Medieval 2 does economy and building so much better. Rome 1 does economy and building so much better. Hell, Three Kingdoms does economy and building so much better. The only reason why I'm playing this mostly is because it has cool action, because it's got lots of uh, interesting little species and races. And playing tag with those species and races is, uh, is not nowhere near as interesting. Right, you go over there. You be up front. And now that you have yourself a brand new flying cow, I guess you can go and skirmish a little bit as well. Alright. Marshy terrain. How? How terrible. Okay, those are some wolf rats, so I would like to kill those first, if possible. Let's also see if we can't go and screw with their general. Alright. Dark subjugation. No, it's the curse of Hushet we want, which is nine points. Six points, seven points. And we'll engage in a little bit of skirmishing of our own to pay them back for all of the faggotry they've been pouring down on us. No, 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 little general. Stay still. Just in a small moment, we'll be able to give you a wonderful thing. A blessing of Hashut. You're gonna enjoy it. Trust me. It's pretty great. Okay, don't want to stand there and trade fire with the Skaven Slingers, if at all possible. Alright. Okay, all the way back there. Not too bothered by that. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, actually, that didn't do that much damage. I'm a bit disappointed, actually. Hmm, do you have range on anything? No, you don't. Actually, but you're really close, though. Look, go over there. Go over there and see if you can't shoot something useful. Once the wolf riders continue to use up that ammunition. Let's see. Flaming breath. Magic missile. That sounds fun. Let's do some of that on those guys. Burn, filthy little furries. Yep, yep, that was pretty effective. I don't mind that. That was pretty good. Like, oh no, they're throwing tiny rocks at me. How terrible. They might gently tickle my cow if I'm allowing, if I allow them to keep doing that for about five centuries. Who knows? Any more free unit nonsense? Yes. So apparently, they are quite obsessed with my hobgoblins. Well, if they've got a mess with the target, I suppose that's the best one. Scroll of Leeching. All manners of essence, including magic power. Hmm. Is it a Healy ability, maybe? Oh, careful there. How long until Cow Breath is our cooldown? A while. Okay, fair enough. It was rather effective. All right, buddy, you gotta make it back to our lines again now. Your hunting vacation is sadly over for the time being. Hmm, okay, you're dedicating those to warding me off, are you? Okay. Wise, wise, I guess I shall disengage then. 
You're gonna act like an absolute asshole like that, I guess. I guess we'll have to disengage. Cow breath. You shall be cow breathed. Let's see. Explosive ammunition. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Look at me! I have more random units that can pop up right next to you. Yay! Button engaging. It's not even like the AI can use that ability in a strategically important fashion. It's just like, hey, uh, I'm over here now. You gotta, like, defeat me. Alright. We're all gonna bunch up on that one area, are we? Alright. Fair enough. I am entirely fine with that, as that will allow me to do the wonderful little hellhammer thought nonsense thingy. Let's see here. There we go, that looks good. And we'll flank them with the shotguns, and... Jesus. When you start getting spells like that, the game really is kinda just over, isn't it? It really is. It's like, I just blew up your entire army. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very much so. Alright. You'll take care of the first cave and slave slingers. You'll circle around, get, oh, get the rest. Careful there, the wolf riders. You've got some... Uh, actually, they're just wolf rats. That's the worst thing in the world. There's you again. Alright, I think their front lines are well and truly boned. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. Careful there, you don't want to get around screwing with the rat ogres if at all possible. And we do want to kill more of them as well, if we can. That sounded awfully Swedish, and I didn't like that one bit. I disapproved. Very much so. Right, rat ogres are practically dead. Make sure you're shooting at the rat ogres instead of the poor fleeing little slaves, because they're frankly not very useful. For a gobbler duck. I don't know who gobbler duck is, but he has the undying fealty of my random little hobgoblins on wolves. See, this too is what we call awfully unfair. Oh wow, he's full health again. Oh no, that's somebody else. Okay. I was starting to wonder how the hell that guy was back up to full health. But no, I am bullying somebody else. Somebody different from everybody else. Storm vermin. Hmm, okay. That's a little bit unfortunate. I don't like that. Alright. And you guys too. Keeping them a distance, good. In fact, they're fleeing. Perfect. Uh, poor little wolf boys are getting a bit beat up. Let's try and get them back behind our lines again. Are you not dead already? Jesus, just fall over. Sweet baby, Jesus. I don't even have enough to look at him funny. Hmm, maybe if I do that, though. Knock down? Knock back? Knock back? Mm, knock back. Yes. Awesome. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Okay, you guys just shoot him until he becomes really, really, really sad. 
and cow breasts too, just to make sure. Your reign of playing goddamn tag is over, you piece of shit. There will be no more running for you. He is pretty tough though, I will give him that. Like, this is some firepower he's just kind of eating here, straight to the face. I wonder if we could take him alive somehow. Maybe we could, I don't know, rape him to death. Presumably with cats. Could we breed cats large enough? Because I'm pretty sure Skaven have an innate hatred and fear of cats. So if we could somehow create monster cats... I imagine we can give him a very lengthy and very unfortunate demise. Which is something I thoroughly believe he has deserved at this point. Like, sir, we keep shooting him, but he just doesn't die for some reason. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I gotta bust out my bazooka. Damn. No, it did knock him down. All right, everyone, get in range before he gets back to his feet. Ah, oh. if you want to want something done correctly, do it with a giant cow. All right, boys, that's enough. You've done everything you can. It's up to giant cow now. God, if only there was just a little bit more mana. Step one, find Skaven. Step two, insert bull penis into rear. Step three, repeat. One, repeat. Two, repeat. Again, continue repeating. Until the cries of terror and agony become too much and you finally step on its skull. Come on, come on, don't you dare escape. There we go. Right, one enormous annoyance less. Treasury or laborers? Well, I do need some more laborers now, so some of those. How can I? How can I move this much more and yet not reach him? Wait, can you? Everyone disabled vigor in battle. Tired. Amateur defenders should be under attack. Radar element in battle initiation disabled. Yeah, no, you can't attack whilst you're marching. Yep, unfortunately. All right. Well, we've dealt with one army. If we can deal with this one too, there should only be one more Skaven stack somewhere. We're gonna have to kill these beastmen that appeared too, but uh, it's the least of my worries right now. Anyways. I also need to figure out how to deal with my goddamn economy again at some point. So I only need 100 people here. I've got 9,999 finally. That means I can upgrade that, which will finally get me another rifleman. Jesus Christ, how long have I waited for that? Um, I could sacrifice some for order. God, I have so much order loss so constantly. It sucks so very much. Mm, provisional instability. I might have to, but we'll hold out for it a little bit. Uh, let's get some Conclave influence instead. Because with that, I believe we can now steal this, which I will. Because that's 100 extra raw materials per turn, which will be quite useful, especially now that I don't have a mine anymore. Do I want to upgrade that? I kind of want to upgrade that, but... I don't really feel I have the money to upgrade that. Alright, keep on top of me convoys. So, we've got a convoy free, I think. Uh, don't we? Don't we? Uh, where are you? I thought you were... Are you not back? I thought you were back. Because you're still on the trip. Unit count 8. What's commander? On panel. Huh. 
It doesn't say he's not back. Oh, I do? Oh, okay. So it must be because I lost settlements, and therefore if you don't have enough settlements, you don't aren't able to mount multiple convoys. Okay. Well, that makes a certain amount of sense. You. Boost. Goddamn mobility. Again, that is the only stat that is important. Okay, are you... Yes, you've upgraded there. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, still can't get that, and the torch thing was level th three, yes, and 5,000 bucks as well, but that does fix the disorder, at least for the time being, as game corruption is falling, presumably because Karak Dawn got burnt to the- oh god, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, the elves have just completely raped Queek Headtaker into the dirt. Oh god. The elves are becoming what we might refer to as fucking dangerous. Yes, fucking dangerous indeed. Fucking dangerous indeed. Astra Goth and Wolfram Fama Guldring. Hi. Hello. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, trade? And you want to give me money too? Wow, that's unusually friendly of you. Sure. No, 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 I, I was able to have two, um, two convoys a little while ago, so I'm presuming that is a thing you unlock, somehow, because I, that was the reason why I bought a second one. I'm pretty sure I was able to have two active. Hmm. Alright, so this is the same Legion. Uh, have they... No, I don't think they recuperate. I don't actually think they recuperate. Um... Infernal Iron Drum, Prava Overwhelming 10 turns. Uh, nah, that doesn't really look like it's worth it at all. Okay, so they don't replenish on the march. Okay, well, that, that does make a certain amount of sense, to be fair. Please let this be this... Uh, no, I, st I still can't catch him. I still cannot catch him. Can you catch him? No. Stupid, stupid. The room and drink. Don't cross wires. And you can't catch me. Okay. Well, I'll put him like here. To hopefully be able to intercept him, like if he goes, like let's put him no, let's because he can only go this way. Let's put him here. So if he tries to get anywhere else, maybe I can get him. Can I cut that off? Maybe. Oh, piece of goddamn shit. And I need to deal with them soon because every turn I'm dealing with this shit, you can. Bet your happy little ass that they're going to be building another stack of dudes, which I'm going to have to kill at some point. Which will be dreadful. Absolutely terrible. Right, how many turns does that sum? Uh, four. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I can see up here, but I can. Oh, maybe it's because my garrison is up there. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna still gonna follow and declare war on you the moment I can, mind you. But sure. Uh, hi. Hello. Okay. Uh, I don't even see you on the map, but very well. I do not care about betraying a treaty with Skaven. If anything, they should see it goddamn coming. Another black dragon. I mean, that's cute and all, but nah. No, nah, thank you. No, nah, thank you very much. Machines and sorcery. Well, I thank you for your peace I'll treaty. Now, them. stay fucking put whilst I, I violate you to death. 
It's like, why did you betray us? I fucking wonder. Bend over. Fuzzy behind. Mine now. And thus the pounding was most vicious and vehement. And it lasted for seven days and seven one young nights. Seven seven young? Seven nights. Ah. Delectable. Right. Actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the other one, because I can get... I can sacrifice the captives for 1,500. So why would I choose getting 400 now when I could get 1,500 later? That's retarded. Ah. Sweet, sweet relief. Let's get some more logistician up. And let's retake this. Mine. Um, outpost, I think I could do this. Right, well, that has uh, certainly aided my income. A thing. Flames, Vassal Gast. Uh, uh, passive ability, Arcane Conduit. Does that increase my winds of power? Because I really do need to increase it. Winds of Magic costs minus 9 for Flame of Azog. Wow, that's really good. Wow, that is ridiculously good. I, sh I need that. I need that bad. Let's get that. I need that really bad, because that is incredibly good. Betraying Skaven should give you goodwill from all other factions, yes. It, it genuinely should. Okay, so I'm presuming a war has been declared on me or something. Because that was kind of out of nowhere. I was like, hey, you, on the other side of the map. Yeah, you, let's fight. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Um... So, Black Crag now has a garrison of... I keep mistaking that button. It's not good, but it's not awful either. And it does have a Sorcerer Leader. If I give it the... Thane Barracks... That would give me a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. Yep, let's, let's give it that. And we'll we'll prioritize upgrading this, I think, over anything else. Uh, do we have the mines back? We do. Okay, so that will begin increasing more raw materials next turn, which is good. I do need to expand the mines quite a bit. I really do. I really do. I don't need any work over here. Do no. Okay. Let's upgrade that, then. And let's upgrade Darkhold uh, for a little bit more money and a little bit more stuff. Actually, 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 let's not do that. Let's save for this, because this is where the big cool thing is. But let's not buy that until we can actually go over there and defend it, shall we? Because that would be stupid. If they manage to take that back again, I would be very mad. Yes, indeed, very mad. Uh, yep, still one out of one active convoy. So we're gonna have to wait quite a while for that one to be done. I've got loads of weapons now. Uh, maybe I should turn on the thing, but I don't... Uh, I hate things with upkeep because it makes me feel as if I'm wasting it somehow. Frenzy, though, is so good. Like, that is a ridiculously good boost. Like, stupidly good. So, is the upkeep cost is... The upkeep cost is 8. Yes, yes, it says right there. Yeah. Hmm. I'll hold off on it a little bit more. Because I want to build up loads of it, if at all possible. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, decree, decree, decree. Income from... Mercanery, which control labor cost, billowing smoke. Probably just that. Let's see if we can't actually stabilize this piece of shit place at some point. 
Crookback Mountain does have iron, which I should also be looking to get as soon as possible. That's because that's another... Wait, what? High quality assembly line. No, 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 it isn't iron. It, it creates armaments. Okay, well, that's not as high on my list of priorities as I thought that. <sighs> well, that was why I didn't build anything there. Yep, because I knew they'd be building just yet another army whilst all of this was going on. Alright, well, if they've only got one, I'm not as worried about getting ambushed, so... We'll just advance on them. And so, you. I don't like you being here. How about... How about you not be here? Hmm. Will they leave? I'll give them one turn to leave. Then we're going to have to kill them. Alright, two more turns there. And the dwarves are coming down here now. That's a pinch, unfortunate. 2,000. Three more turns odd. And keep an eye on the little beastman. And yep, there's another Skaven army. God, I just, I just need to try and get them all in front of me at some point so we can stop this eternal game of ring around the goddamn rosy. Because Jesus Christ is a tiresome. Drazov, Barikazan. All right, tiny army, not worth it. Just wipe them all out. Um, and we should occupy that as a tower, actually. <sighs> and the Sentinels is going to be lost for the 532nd time. It's uh, it's only incredibly annoying. It's. It's only unbelievably annoying. Alright, well, I can deal with that with local garrisons, so... We'll have, uh, Zufor begin moving around to begin intercepting that or hunting it down. Whichever one comes first, I hardly mind. Uh, you don't have any movement speed increases, do you? No, you don't, which is rather tragic. Put on that last upgrade. You can't recruit whilst moving. No, you can't. Not whilst marching, anyways. One more turn until I can get another shooter hero. And the beastmen were leaving in the direction of Skaven territory, so I guess we'll uh, we'll trust their kind and honest uh, hearts for the time being. Uh, that gives me a bull centaur with renders. Uh, dual axes. I'll take it. I'll upgrade that too, because now that I'm raiding a bunch of shit, I am actually relatively flush with money. Uh, I'm tempted to upgrade Mount Greyhag to a take fighter. It's too exposed. We'll upgrade that one for now. Did this post me dangerously low on cash, though? Hmm. Don't want to do that. No, that's probably a bit too risky. Oh, God. Well, there it comes. Yep. I was waiting for that. Ay, ay, ay. Yay, more random armies to chase across the map for all eternity. Yay. Uh, well, Imanik declaring war was pretty inevitable. Hopefully, his armies are on the other side of the map. Because, I mean, we were at 100 minus 100 relationships since the moment we started. So, again, that was very, very, very inevitable. No escape plan. Alright, we just gotta 
burn that piece of shit last settlement. If we can just burn it, then finally I'll be done with the little shits. Can this army take on two stacks? Skaven slaves? Yes, probably. And you, you turned back. You were not supposed to do that, you piece of shit. Right. Did I get the thing? I did. Okay. Need a hero. I need a hero. Really badly. Which is output 5% performance. That's nice. Unethical. Final guard. Upkeep. That's nice too, but let's get him there. Alright. And you're just all gonna be about block army. That is like your only actual duty is to block army. That is all you exist to do. Literally. Ammunition cache, hero capacity for Infernal Castellan. Yes, please. That would be amazing. Give me that immediately. And you gain a level two. Uh, you probably got enough ammo by now. Reload time, gun sight. I mean, I like the fact that he has ridiculous range, so let's give him more ridiculous range. Alright, yep. Imrik is gonna be a real pain in the ass, though, because he can attack me over here, he can attack me from all under here, and Zufor's army is really not ready to deal with it, and, I mean, I don't... Look at my income. Like, my income has just been ass the entire game, because I cannot afford to have an army. It's great. It's like, I'm fighting the Skaven on one settlement with three stacks, and here I am like, well, I can't actually afford anything. <laughs> ah, right, we're... I don't want another donation barrel because it's so much raw resources, but I don't think we have an option. I really don't think we have a say in the matter, so... Donation barrel it is. Donation battle it is. Can I... Do I want to sacrifice some captives? I can? I don't know if I want to. What would it get me? Not much. Um, not much at all, no. No recruitment. Hero recruitment. Garrison. Not really worthwhile. Hmm. Alright, so my reliability is very low because of my abusing a treaty with Skaven, which I do love. I'm tempted to just issue it again and see if they bite. I genuinely am. Because the thing is, my reliability is very low. So the fuck what? So the actual fuck what? Honestly. Like, Every single enemy around me already hates my guts, okay? I'm minus 100 with everybody already. So who cares? Who actually cares? At that point, does it matter? No, it does not. Not in the slightest. Uh, was it Clan Worms that I was fighting? No, Clan Richters. What do you want? Treaty pact? All right, do you want a peace treaty? No. You don't want it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I was just going to break it again instantly, so wise move. I I do. So, part of me likes the idea of the uh, the plus minus uh, system. Ugh, of course you are. Um. Oh, it's him again, and he's back at full health. Okay, well there you go. Part of me likes the plus-minus diplomacy system because it means you always know exactly what you're going to get, right? And you always know how you can influence it to get something else. But it's too much on the minus side. Like, every time you're trying to do anything, you have to deal with massive minuses to every stat you've got. Like, getting deals is almost impossible in almost all scenarios. I'd, honestly, I'd prefer them to be a bit more, like, cagey with me, so I don't at least get the annoyance of being like, yeah, it's just minus, etc., etc., because reasons. Die. 
Okay, occupiers outpost. And tear that down and immediately build one of those. Uh, now it's chasing these guys. The entire game is just chasing something. There's some other other stack. Just, hey, hey, please. Please. Could you go away? Like, can I warn you? Can you just fuck off, please? I just want you to leave. That's, that's really all I want. That is... That is my sole solitary desire. Alright. Um, 21%, of course. Alright, if he goes back here, this army can try and catch him, so I guess... We're gonna do go down south and try and intercept him. Now you, you're gonna go into high elf territory and figure out when and where from I'm going to get attacked. I'm really hoping that Imric army is busy over here, because if not, I am about to get really, really badly pounded in every orifice. And I don't want that to happen. I prefer if it didn't. I would greatly prefer if it didn't. Mount Silverspear, okay, you're gonna need one of those buildings to decrease my massive deficit a little bit. Uh, the Warhorse of Zar. Do you like me? No, why not? Uh, just aversion. Just. Just the usual. Can I get a non aggression pack, maybe? Uh. Oh, just eight, eight, 900 bucks. Right, okay. Never mind. Okay, at least I've got trade treaties with, with these dudes. It mildly annoys me that they took that one settlement, because that means I can't get a, like, a full thing here, but... I guess it saves me a war against uh, Grimgord Ironhide, so I shouldn't complain too loudly. Check the... Ah, yes, I've got... I can do another convoy now. Alright, what do I need? Money! Isn't that what I always need? Yes, yes it is. Where can I get money? I, uh... I think, sadly, I've given... No, no, there we go. I can get some money down here still. Okay, off you go. I am like the greatest arms importer in the world... Our exporter in the world, it seems. Alright, we can get something else cool. What can we get? Convoy cargo capacity. Uh, bombardment unit capacity. Uh, that one's pretty cool. Wrath of Tsar. That one is pretty nice. That one's not bad either. The ability to summon, like, those creepy bastards on top of an enemy. That one's very potentially dangerous. I can also campaign Moonrage after winning a battle. Tempting. I'm tempted by this too now, just to try and get some treaties with the rest of the Chaos Dwarves. In fact, screw it. I'm picking that one up. And that's going to improve my relationship even with this guy. So that hopefully I can get some treaties and hopefully I can get more trade because I need that money. I need that money so bad. My country gets larger and larger as my deficit grows right alongside it. I don't think so. Uh, that industry thing will let you send out another convoy. Okay, is that what I want? Oh, really? Really? Like, you're just gonna... Fine. Please occupy it. Thank you. Okay. Well, at least now I can deal with him, because I know where he is. Uh, like, I like... Okay, so, to talk about the, uh, the DLC again, right? Um, uh, Hobbogoblin Archers. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Let's talk about the DLC again, right? Oh, okay. Oh, Chris Nice. 5,000 bucks, too. I'll definitely take that. But the Chaos Dwarves... I love the Chaos Dwarves. I've always loved the Chaos Dwarves. The Chaos Dwarves are a great faction. They're an absolutely amazing faction. And this DLC does do them reasonable uh, honor, honestly. Like, it does a pretty damn good at uh, 
showing them off as they are supposed to be. They've got a lot of cool mechanics, which is always nice. But the core gameplay of Total War Warhammer... Oh. Yeah. Oh. It, mm, ah, oof, mm, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan, I mean, like, it's just, with Radius mod, I'd be stomaching it a lot better, but the, this whole, like, endless chasey thing is, oh, no, mm, it hurts my soul a tremendous amount. Income from cities, faction-wide, that's amazing. Definitely take that. But I do also love that, like, everything the Chaos Dwarves have is just great. Like, they have nothing... There's nothing useless about this faction at all. It feels like every upgrade they get is just good, you know? Which is really nice. Let's try and get that up to level 3. I've yet to see any elven army, so I might not be completely boned, which is nice. It's very nice, in fact. Might even have time to go get my uh, my quest thingy. Uh, unlikely, but eh, who knows? And just oh, little piece of shit, fucking Skaven, just die. <sighs> All right, so set value. Uh, cover my card capacity. Wayfinder, combat channel ambush. I mean that one. Obviously that one. That one's great. Convoy ambush, less chance of it getting ambushed, sounds pretty good. So it, there, there is a little bit of casualty replenishment rate, it's just really little. Alright, in that case we're obviously going to go with these first. Um, where's the other guy? Like, I need to find the other guy now, because if they get skills, which I wasn't aware of, then I need to find the other dude. The convoy system, too, is really neato, Cheeto. I quite like that. Is this him? Yeah, convoy over here. Get sails, hit the stores, and then you can have these. Did somebody else double up, too? Uh, Sorcerer, Prophet of Hashut. Ah, yes, you. You love love. Good. Uh, ruthless Disciplinarian. Are we stable over here? We are. Good. Okay. In which case, we can start going for some actual, you know, combat abilities. That would be nice, too. The winds of magic are pathetic. Did that unlock the... No, I'm still researching that. Okay. There. I also hate how quick the battles are. Like, I just... All of the things I've always disliked about Total War Warhammer, I still dislike. <laughs> that's uh, that's about some of it. Oh, yep. Oh, I don't know. I've got bought myself several turns of safety with that, so I'm not too miffed. Like, I'm not hating it by any stretch of the imagination, but... I'm not, like, super into it either, it's like, you could do this so much better. And so many Total War games have done this so much better. Like, again, the battles, I do just like how quick the battles are. I dislike the campaign map battles too, because it's mostly just chasing down enemy armies again and again and again and again and again. For the million, billion, zillionth time. As the AI seems just set on avoiding you no matter what. There, finally. You cannot leave. Okay, I, I I take this shit personally. You, you little bitch, you little tretch, you, you, I will find personally. I will capture you. I will, and I will hurt you. In ways you cannot even begin to imagine in your deepest, darkest scape and imagination. I swear to God, you will scream. You will scream. The convoys too, like, I like all of the mechanics. It's just the core game still feels underwhelming to me. If all of these mechanics were in, like, Medieval 2, I'd be overjoyed, you know? I'd be really great. Um, or if they would just stop removing things too, like the removal of the settlement battles. Yeah, sure, the settlement battles weren't great, but I still liked them being there. The removal of sink kills also, which makes you not want to zoom in. I... Uh, Total War is just one of these series where I'm just like... My, my entire opinion of it is that it's 
so cool in theory, and yet it's been falling so far behind it what what it once was. Like I am very much so an old school Total War player when it comes to that. And the pricing too. Like was it twenty bucks for this DLC? Like that's a lot of money. That is unironically quite a lot of cash for uh, one DLC faction. You be on the flank over there. See a dick greedy little bastards. <laughs> what can I say? It is true, they are greedy little bastards. Actually, you know what? You stay on the front line. There you are. Which makes me even more reluctant to praise them, but hey, it isn't crashing or anything. It's a perfectly mechanically uh, functional game. I have had no problems with it whatsoever from a mechanical standpoint. Uh, the gameplay is pretty good. The, the Chaos Dwarves are excellent. They're super powerful, which is great. The whole mechanic of slaves, etc. is also really cool. So, again, like, my, my take on the DLC is the DLC is really cool. I just, I don't like Total War anymore. Like, I, I object to the direction they've taken Total War in, and I doubt I will not object to it for a very long time. Like, Three Kingdoms was a step in the right direction in many ways, and then a step straight on back again in so many other ways. Like, the Three Kingdoms, um, like, campaign map was really good. I like that a lot. But I was not a fan of the limited units, even though I thought I would be initially, because it's like, okay, this will force you to kind of improvise a little bit. But when you had so few units to choose from, and it took so long to unlock new units again, it just ended up with every single army looking like the same army, which was exactly the thing I wanted to not have happen. I wanted to kind of be forced to have a lot of army variety because I couldn't just simply use the best unit again and again and again and again and again. And instead, because of the way the game worked, I was always using the same combination of generals again and again and again because, well, they were the only units I had. I mean, shit, like a hundred turns in, I was still using militia in that goddamn game. Ah, oh, which was mildly painful. I do like the Hobgoblin little, little wolf rider archers, though. They're really neat. I enjoy skirmish cavalry like this. I wish you could have the good old Canterbarian circle, though. That was a lot of fun using that. Alright, let's have the cavalry on the flank. How about you just don't come over here for a bit? How about you just stand there and get shot by my archers some more instead? How about that? Ah, I missed. Well, that feel me makes me feel just downright bad about myself. Hello, skirmishers! Like, don't worry, Master. We'll we'll keep those. Those darndable little, uh, little archer dudes away from you. We'll block him out. Like, you know I'm riding wolves, right? Like, no, we didn't! Uh, help! Squeal! We did not know what we were doing! Hey! <laughs> there will be no help here. Oh, I do love that too. Like, they're so confident, like, yeah, we can totally block out these stupid little enemies. Like, we can keep them busy. No. No, you can't. You really, really can't. Alright. Get to it, boys. Kill everything furry. Allow not the furry to live. Never allow the furry to live. The furry must die. No matter the consequences. No matter the sacrifices, the furry cannot exist. And so commences another period of absolute merciless one-sided slaughter, as the old Total War strategy of just move cavalry around the enemy has been functional for literally the entirety of Total War's history. Ah. Uh, 
honestly, Rome was one of the games that did that best, where that wasn't, like, just the only strategy you could use. Whereas, it's just, it's too good. It is too good a strategy. And the AI is just awful at dealing with it. But like, here, it, it assigns Skaven slaves with slings to ward off wolf riders. Like, that ain't gonna work. Like, that is just literally not gonna work at any point in history. Oh. No, no, buddy. You're not getting away. You're getting the knot. The wolf knot. Whether you like it or not. See what I did there? That was pretty clever, wasn't it? Stop! Seriously, stop. You can't get away. The cow will stare at you, no matter how far you, far you go. Like, then there's no escaping this. Then there's absolutely none. Oh, come on, come on. If you don't die to the knot, you will die to something else. Equally unpleasant, I guarantee it. Oh god, he's outrunning me. No. No. He must die. He cannot be allowed to escape. Yes. Die, 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 die. Just fall over. There you go. Now, get ready to play. Ah, oh, suffer not the furry to live. Correct, chat. You know what I would really love? I would love Total War, uh, but in the style of... Um, oh god, what was it called? Um... That game, I did a review of it, like one of the, the little more edited reviews. Uh, it had a compatibility with with a game. What was it? Uh, Field of Glory. Field of Glory, chat. That was it. Field of Glory. I would love to see a Field of Glory style Total War game. There is one, Empire, which does it reasonably well. They're actually working on another one now in the medieval period, which I'm really looking forward to. That'll be super, super cool. Because Field of Glory's combat system is so much more fun. Because there's there's a degree of randomness in it as well. Instead of just... I mean this. Was, th was this a battle? Was this at any point a fight whatsoever? No. And the majority of fights in this game are either one out of two. Either you don't stand a goddamn chance from the get-go. Or is a one-sided pussy pounding. Like, there, there, there's almost nothing in between, is it? Okay. I still haven't spotted any elven armies, which is good, don't get me wrong. In fact, I'm very happy for that. But it does make me worry as to where exactly the little bastards are. Yep, those aren't elves. I'm entirely sure those aren't elves. Uh, no elves. I mean, Jesus, Imrik has just been raping his way forward, overrunning all resistance like it's nothing. That is going to leave his bumhole completely exposed and torn wide open by a green skin cock in not too long, but hey, he couldn't have known that. Well, actually, he could have known that because he declared war on me, goddammit! It's like, sir, please, attack me from behind. Filthy fucking elf. <laughs> Jesus, that was actually what happened, wasn't it? He has no army or guards back here whatsoever. He was literally just bending over, looking over his shol shoulder, coquettishly at me like, Oh no. It would be a dreadful disaster if you were to bring that big fat dwarven cock over here. <laughs> well, there goes my monetization. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, uh, it's very elven, if nothing else. It is, it is, it is very, very elven. We are legion. Upkeep for infernal guards. Um, I wish I had infernal guards. Master of hell. Uh, weapon strength for Kadai. I don't like the Kadai, so no. 
Uh, Ashen. I mean, that looks cool, I guess. I'll get that one. Isansarum Bezegork. Hmm, what do you get? Realer reduction, of course. Uh, Shadow Totally Ying Yang says, So the uh, SFO team are burned out on Total War Warmer modding and making their own cult management game. It seems they are still modding, just focusing on the game. Are they now? Um, what was F SFO? What was SFO? Uh, SFO. Mod Total War. Was that the um, Steel Faith mod? No, simply fun overhaul mods. Okay, that's nice. And they're mer they're making their own game, do they? Well, sure, why not? I mean, that's the best case scenario, isn't it? Like, if you've got the abilities and the drive to do it, great, do it. It'll be fantastic. I hope it'll be good. I hope for their sake it'll be amazing. All right. Well, I think. We we have actually finally stabilized. Like with a goddamn Skaven finally eradicated at long goddamn last. I will not this piece of shit rock will no longer be the ring around the rosy. And I can commit myself to uh, teaching Imrik a lesson or two about anal sex. Which I'm sure he'll enjoy. In fact, I'm almost certain he'll smile and wiggle his butt at me and go like, Oh no. While smiling disgustingly. <sighs> Imrik, that filthy god dang homosexual. But after, um, okay, we've almost been streaming for six hours. That's, uh, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot for poor little Arch, okay? He's getting hungry and sad and thirsty and all manners of things. And frankly, the prospect of having to anally sodomize a male elf it just doesn't do it for me. It's like it's difficult to get PP up in such circumstances. So I will be wrapping it up there. Right. Well, do we save it? I get. Oh, I guess we'll save it. Maybe, maybe. Why don't we all do a bit more? I mean, it wasn't awful. I do, and I do sort of enjoy that. Maybe, maybe. I do have a couple games, other games lined up on the of the far more um, of the far more autistic variant for the future as well. But maybe a little bit more. Imric the Bad Dragon Hunter. That is excellent. Epic beard in progress. Because he probably has a significant bad dragon collection. Right, let's see. Uh, is there anybody... Uh, there's surely somebody streaming, right? Let's go to the dingy bob. Oh, limited. Oh, but YouTube. I only mentioned fucking the dwarf in the ass once. <laughs> so, surely you can give me one. He was what? He was asking for it now. It's like, no, limited. Okay. Let's see. Click, click. Hmm. Hmm. Kib is playing. Kib? Kib doesn't know how to play video games. Kib certainly doesn't know how to play Total War games. Hmm. That's a bit weak and disgusting. I don't know about that. Fine. He's the only alternative right now, so I guess we'll do Kibs then. I am. I'm going to go play uh, some more uh, Equestrian War to uh, deepen my relationship with the ponies to in, in preparation for the next April 1st. So, until then, not necessarily until April 1st, but until next time, I have been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching for your super generous donations, and hopefully I will see you all again in not too long. Till then, have a good day.